Hello. Ah, uh, we're playing some Mass Effect 2. Original Mass Effect 2. So it looks worse. I would say it runs worse too, but you know what? I don't think it does. Uh, the issue with this was when you start old Mass Effect 2, you have to verify the uh, DLC. It, it it's just it's just weird. Like it does, it basically doesn't work anymore. You have to like there's there's a part where it's like could not connect. Be gone, vile man. Be gone from me. Why did that play twice? I don't know. It's the anniversary week. Things are gonna break because timing. Oh yeah, there's that's a part that's part of the randomizer. By the way, uh, this randomizer changes a bunch of settings. First off, I should say. Uh, Anniversary week, rather than just do my anniversary day, which was last week, actually, uh, when I was sick for a month, I wanted to stream at least uh, at least two weeks to kind of get back into it. I didn't want to come back like for the anniversary week. I did that last year. And because I, I last year, I took a break and didn't come back until the week of the anniversary. And I regretted it because I was out of it. Like my voice was not used to talking that much. And this week, a lot better. But uh, let's see what we got here. Remnant, Sandwich, uh, Ninja, Kibis. Anyone else lurking? So yeah, we're doing a rant uh, for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, and possibly a little Thursday, depending on if we need it. I am doing a randomizer of Mass Effect 2. When I say randomizer, I mean more of a visual randomizer, as you will see. It also randomizes a few things that I have not tested. It supposedly randomizes the Normandy to an extent in some way. Uh, Ilium, uh, the Citadel, like there's, there's supposed to be like little stuff in it that has changed. Now, here's the thing. I am separating this game into two parts. One of those parts is a sub goal for the month. Again, I, I always find it awkward to talk about sub goals, but it's September. It's the anniversary week, which is also the subathon. So you'll actually hear me talk about that kind of stuff this week, <laughs> but because there's the thing, uh, they changed how they're doing things this year. So yeah, gift subs are no longer on 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 sale, which which is an odd choice. But uh, this should come in handy. Last of my bits, woo. Last of your bits, woo. Well, thank you, Ninja, for the for the cheer. Yay! So as you can see, uh, the text is a little different now. We have Wazoom. We have. Nyao, Nyao game. We have Wode game. Ext was. Exit game. That's okay. And Nyao content available. <laughs> this is going to kill me. It doesn't change this somehow, but it changed this. Connected to SubOS network. God, kill me now. Uh, we're doing we're doing new game. <laughs> Yeah. Well, right, we're going to do a uh, mail OO. So I'm playing with keyboard and mouse right now because I have no choice. The controller mod for this game breaks the character creation. So I have to play the game, make the character, save the game, exit the game, install the controller mod, get back into the game, switch to a different screen so I can log in with my information, and then play the game again. <laughs> no, we are not doing that. As I said before, we, sp we are splitting this game into two parts. This is the visual randomizer. And just, like, goofy stuff. And randomizing areas and things like that. Um, for what little it does, I think. That's what this playthrough is. We're going to do it in three days. We're not doing side stuff, probably. We're doing, like, main missions, DLC, and that's and loyalty missions. Just for fun. Uh, the other goal, I might as well bring that up since I'm mentioning it right now. The one, the 50 one, for the ME2 randomized insane run, that is for all the difficulty settings. Enemies get random weapons and abilities. The suicide mission is randomized to make it harder. That kind of stuff. Uh, Shepard has ragdoll physics, so when he gets hit by stuff, he falls down. <laughs> stuff like that. We're not doing that here. We're separating it from, like, dialogue. Kind of making it like a visual novel of sorts with, like, casual level gameplay. And then 
third person cover shooter that has like no story because I'm skipping everything. Because the point of that playthrough is the challenge. Yes, I would like to set up a Stellaris playthrough at some point. There's actually a new DLC coming out tomorrow, I think. The uh, the Toxoids. It's a it's a species pack. All right, let's see how broken the scene is. This randomizer breaks scene sometimes, so. Uh... Why are you just the elusive man? Right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard. Uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. Word war. Oh. <laughs> no one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. Oh, well, Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. I love the elusive man with Miranda's stance. To stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Captain's Wog, <laughs> December. God. We've just come into orbit of, uh, uh I'll, I'm not going to be able to read this. It's going to be too fast. Yes, there's a lot of that. Now, these are not randomized. These are pre-rendered cutscenes. It's impossible to randomize them. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, there are some settings I did not use because it just makes the game borderline unplayable and a little press. too weird. Emission sinks active. However, as a bonus, when we finish this playthrough, I will our time. reload the game and reinstall it. Down this and we On stream, we'll just talk about stuff while I'm doing it. It doesn't take very long. And then Three ships went I will do every one. option to him. My money that isn't to known to break the game immediately. The and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Just as a bonus. Vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. The so like Wednesday no some point, you'll we'll be seeing that. Um, there's one option you can there's do that replaces the bone animation. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's so no it replaces like if someone's yeah. eyes move, Brace their their hands the will move instead. So Oh, it's not broken. It's been oo-wooed. <laughs> With Elsa with emojis. Presley. Plus we. Kinetic barriers down. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. Who's it gonna be? It could be multiple people. God, it's so dark. Liara just ran past. <laughs> And I'm invisible. Will the Alliance get here in time? Kaden? But you were dead. Oh, also, I could have imported the rando save that I had for Mass Effect 1. I'll be honest, I'm not even sure if that would work. It might just break everything. So I went with just new character. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. It's also gonna randomly right. go between Fem Shep and Male Shep. That's not part of the randomizer. It's just broken. But it kind of is part of the randomizer now. Everybody in. All right, we're go, back to pre-render cutscene, so. Oh yeah, this is just this is just for funs, just like for funsies. I just wanted a nice like dumb playthrough. <laughs> I 
I did one of Mass Effect 1 a while ago. Oh, well, time to use keyboard and mouse for a bit. Yeah. Mayday, mayday, mayday. The randomizer in this game is more visual because it's not it it isn't one of those games that the randomization works. Because most randomizers involve games that require like items to progress, like Zelda or Final Fantasy. You can't really do that in a Mass Effect game because it could just kind of go where you want. So yeah, this is like a different kind of thing. Yeah, I, I threw it in there just because it's just because it's dumb. <laughs> it's only in subtitles, which we don't have to read. The only time you'll ever have to hear me read it is if I choose to read like a handful of like, you know, written down things. That's why I put it in here. Which one do you think is which one do you think is worse? The Uwu talk uh, subtitles or the one that I used last time for the quick playthrough where it was just Comic Sans. <laughs> now, I know Ninja love that. Hey, it's me. Have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Ah. Uh, why is that? Oh, that was really weird. It was like a subtitle on like a TV where it had like the black background and white lettering, and I went away from it and disappeared. That was really weird. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Random. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Oh, are we going to see Joker attack. helping uh, Shepard walk? Joker is the new hero. Matt, we're back to Shepard. Yeah, we're back to pre-rendered. Commander! Shepard! Shepard! Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Also, this is lying here on my table. Um, if anyone here plays Pokemon... There's an event right now at GameStops in the U.S. where you can get a card that has a code on it for a shiny Eternatus, which is the uh, legendary Pokemon in Sword and Shield. One of them. It's kind of like the Mewtwo of the game. Not as cool. I don't like them that much. But yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, Europe got the better one. They're doing a code right now for uh, you can get a Marshadow, a Volcanion, and a Genesect. All three of them on one card. We got, a sh we, I mean, we got a shiny legendary that hasn't been uh, that hasn't been released yet. It was shiny locked, meaning you cannot get it shiny until now. But shiny Pokemon aren't really my thing. But hey, I got one. I went the day it was started and got one. And I may have had somebody else I know get me another one. <laughs> and I might be going back in a few days, and hopefully someone new is working. Oh God, this is randomized too. I forgot about this. Let's see if this makes any kind of cohesive story. It's always got to be hard. Really, it's, Commander? It's going to be a bunch of random voice lines. Let's see if anything My makes sense. Gun. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? I have a feeling this isn't gonna, the most of these aren't going to make sense. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. They're going to target Earth. Good emoji for that one. Get back in the barrier! I'm not sure who that was. I recognize all these voice lines so far, except for that one. Ah, David's here. Oh, 
also the the breaks in between are are the same are the length they were for the original lines. So some might be too short, some might be too they long. Take every human in the terminus systems and still have room for more victims. I actually can do a skip though, so I yeah. I can I can skip to make this faster for the ones the breaks are way too long. I hope there's not a lesson in that. I'm sure she'll be fine. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. According to sources, whatever former Commander Shepard is doing, it involves surrounding herself with criminals, killers, mercenaries, and other dangerous elements. Okay, that one's funny because we're surrounded by the council right now. Be advised. That one's pretty good. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? Nasty. Incoming hostiles. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. And that one actually fits the scene. That is the first one we've gotten. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Whatever he did, he probably deserves worse. Hello again, Commander. Oh, hey, Sovereign. How are you? Damn it. I wonder what those Turians and Salarians look like up close. Nobody around here for a thousand Korean. credits yep. is your problem. Yep. It'd be fun to kill someone else for a change. It's going to overlap a little bit. Tactics like this are fit for prisoners, not your own clan. We have been detected. Retreat and regroup. Go. Vasir. I let the Destiny Ascension die with 10,000 people on board, including the Council. Ah. Uh, who do we choose for our love interest? Uh, I'll pick Ashley. I'm not even sure if it's Ashley or Caden in the game. Well, it, it, it can let me choose. We're going to choose Ashley. I want to see what she looks like with the randomizer. Might as well keep it consistent. This is Project Overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus Command. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. You're getting a lot of overload or overload overlord stuff. Second team, are you in position? After your mission is complete, of course. Let's get the hell out of this thing before it blows. <laughs> Do we save the queen or kill the queen? Uh, we'll save the queen. Burning through the door. I don't have much time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That one's kind of fitting. We are tasked to capacity aborting. I thought weapons were controlled from the CIC. We told you the Denver building our future. I love that picture of Rex. I want to use it for something. How do you feel about Reeve? Oh, how does how does Rex feel about Reeve? Oh, he hates him. Oh, we'll save Rex. Steve I won't randomize Rex. That's pretty low. Right. Might want to hurry on that. You know the damage I can do inside a frigate? What's this area of the ship? We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. Get me out of here. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Another platform coming in. We've got trouble. Save Ashley. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. You are no longer relevant. No, you remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Targeting. I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. Real Zora Ord. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. They're burning through the door. I don't have much time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A repeat out of all the lines in this game. What are the chances they pull in a repeat? Position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating facts? 
At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Origin of husk technology unclear. It seemed to be Geth. May have been sovereign. Shepard, our data indicates that Tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable Geth activity and an environmental hazard. Oh, we're going over the Genesis comic. And it's all randomized. The collector facility will handicap us going forward. Well, not visually, but audio-wise. Oh, I let the council die. Yeah, whatever. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. Well, council die. <laughs> Warning. Reactor temperature rising. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. I should go. Looks like another one of those things in the way. Gotta help me out again, Shep. Uh, eh, doesn't really matter. What are the collectors getting from these deals? They're burning through the door. I don't have much Again? Time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, I've taken some antibiotics as well as some herbal supplements that should bolster my immune system. That's from the Tally Romance. I'm starting to hate Lanigan. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. If we have time, we'll deal with it. Okay. Well, only about two or three of those actually made some sense. But it's random. What do you expect? Ah, the beginning of Mass Effect 2. With probably the most ridiculous thing in the entire series. Everyone talks about how dumb the endings are. I still say the Lazarus Project is the stupidest thing in the entire series. The fact that we can do this is insane. Shepard's body went through the atmosphere of a planet and went squish. <laughs> Their brain did not have oxygen for, like, who knows how long. How long did it take their body to get back? Like, months? It is the dumbest thing in the entire series. I still like it, because, you know, cool sci-fi stuff, but... Yeah, honestly, it's kind of like a take on Star Trek. There are so many Star Trek episodes that have an awesome, amazing discoveries that could change everyone's life. But then they're never touched on again. Ever. It's like, man, with this technology, we could do this. And then it's never touched on again. <laughs> ah, our hero. Yeah. This is why I couldn't have the controller mod installed. The controller mod makes it where you can't use the keyboard at all. And you have to use the keyboard to name your character. Now, if we save it after this, I can put in the controller mod. And that's we're good now. Uh, well, custom, of course. Ah, uh, custom appearance. Huh. You know, I kind of kind of like I like this one. I actually like this one already. Now I can actually change them if I want, but since we're doing a randomizer, we're just gonna just gonna do one of the random presets to keep it fair. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> ah, I, I'm, I'm partial to purple. I believe my first Rando Shepherd was purple. I think I'm going to do one of the purple ones. I like this one. Can I? Is it possible to? I don't want to change too much, but is it possible? Yep, you can. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually take... Uh, which one is it? I'm going to take this one and just make it purple. I like, I like the face of this one, but I'm just going to make them purple. There we go. Perfect. OK, 
Captain Planet. I think that was one of the skin tones. Oh, no, come on. Cooperate, please. No. Yeah, isn't that Captain Planet skin tone? Okay, I'm willing to change that. Now, obviously, the rest of them doesn't look like it, but I, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, that's Captain Planet, all right. Yeah, looks like him to me. What color was it? I will, I'm willing to change the hair color, too. Wasn't it like a... It was green, wasn't it? There we go. I'm okay with that. So, do I want to be a soldier? Uh, and I can't even say this. An infiltrator? Vanguard? Uh, Sentinel? Adept? Or Engineer? Since we're playing on casual, it really doesn't matter. We can do whatever we want. What, what's Soldier is probably the best thing to do because we can just blow through the game faster. Because the whole point of this is like other stuff besides combat. Um, Or Vanguard. That works too. I'll do Vanguard. Are we at... Yeah, it also randomizes the, uh, the, the starting things. Do we want to be a hipster, an imposter, or an introvert? I mean, come on. How could I not pick introvert? Oh, this is going to break my brain. Your parents... To, I'm only going to do this... Like, I'm not going to do this very often in the game. There's a lot of texture to read, so... Your parents divorced when you were young, and I... I, I it's hard for you to read like this. Ever since then, you've had trouble maintaining relationships with others. It's going to kill me. Uh, you found, I'm just going to read it like normal here. You found it uncomfortable to exist, exert the energy required to hold up your end of the deal, causing many connections to otherwise uh, wither away. Spend a lot of time on your own, becoming independent and acquiring an ability to recognize the subtle... Non-verb, uh, non-verbal communications of others. These skills uh, let you. I'm, I'm almost. I'm having to translate this. These skills let you understand people at a, at a distance. A skill be alliance took notice of. Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Are we Falco, a Sombra main, or a hedonist? Too bad it isn't a Hanzo main. Hmm. You love having fun, but at the uh, expense of others. You're the background noise, making yourself... Yeah, I'm not very stealthy, that's not it. I'll be Falco. Who doesn't like Falco from Star... From Must... From Space Fox. Yeah, Space Fox. Now, since I'm doing all... Con since, again, we're just blazing through the combat... I'm going to pick something that makes combat even faster. Armor-piercing ammo. Or, uh, Alium-piercing ammo. I'm already regretting the setting. Damn it, Wilson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Another dose. Now. I told you your estimates were off. Run again. Oh, you can tell there's two models in one, and they're clashing. Like I said, the randomizer is not perfect, but we're playing a randomizer. Anything that any any glitch, it can be chalked up to being Wait, random. Our hero. <laughs>
Well, it's already time. Uh, I am going to exit the game and I'm going to install the controller mod because I don't want to play with keyboard and mouse. So I'm actually going to switch to just chatting so you can't see me type in my information. Uh, all I have to do is take this folder over here and go into my directory. It's an, or, is it an origin or steam? I don't even remember. Origin. Uh, paste. Place. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. Wait. Oh, there it goes. Why was it taking so long? It's like a megabyte. Okay, we're good. And I just log back in. Ah. Also, I should have mentioned um, after we're done with this, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but after we're done with this, I'm going to be playing um, Friday and Saturday some uh, some Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection. I've been looking forward to uh, playing that more. I played it a little bit already. Yay, it's working. I hit start and it actually did something. Okay, I just have to log into my Cerberus thing. Oh, anyone who wants to stream this, the randomizer, you need old version of two. Steam or Origin works. I think I have it in both because it was on sale in Origins. And it's it's the DLC is easier to deal with in Origin. It's automatic. Whereas on, the, on Steam, it's you have to like install it separately. This is how it was last time I tried it. But uh, when you're streaming this, you got to be careful. You have to sign in to the Cerberus network. And obviously, you don't want to stream that. Similarly, if you ever stream the Dragon Age series, you do... Come on. You do not have to be in, be signed in for Dragon Age Origins for some reason. So you don't have to worry about it. But in Dragon Age 2, your email for your EA account appears in the bottom left corner. So uh, hide it. Put something there, hide it, and then when you get past the menu, turn it off. Just know that when you ever have to like go back to the main menu, remember to turn that back on first. Also, when you beat the game and, the, and you skip the credits, it goes back to the title screen. So I don't think Inquisition has that problem. Also, I'm, I'm just waiting here for... I, there's a thing that says, communication with the Mass Effect 2 server was interrupted or is timed out. Please try again later. I am hitting OK constantly, and I can't do anything. You're just going to have to wait for the game to be like, you're good. So how's everyone doing? It's a Monday. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. This is the longest this has ever taken. Ah, uh, game. Are you good? Sometimes minimizing it and help. No, I guess not. I've done this before. The mod shouldn't have broken anything. This is just the game being dumb. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. And try that again. I think this deserves the appropriate emote. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okay. And then... Yeah, yeah, I, yep. Okay, good. Got through this time. Now I just have to now I just have to sign into my Cerberus network and we're good. We're good. The weird thing is the mod would not let me use the keyboard for naming my character, but the mod is working with typing in this part. I I okay. Uh cool. Got to use the controller for that and then password which is why I have this not being shown right now. 
Uh, yeah. Oop. Okay. We are good. Controller works. Let me go ahead and bring it back to the screen now. Yay! As soon as you can see the game. There it goes. Uh, load game. And we're good. I can now sit back a little more and use the controller, which I'm more comfortable doing. As weapons fire, they build up heat, Owo. Ejecting the th thermal quips cools weapons to prevent... Ah, ugh. Wait. Oh. I thought I grabbed it after I saved it, or before I saved it. Yeah. This pistol doesn't have a thermal... All right, how are my abilities? Uh, we have charge. Okay, I have no points yet, but look out! Firing. Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Yep, this is why I'm playing on casual. Everything dies in one or two hits, and we can get to the dumb stuff. Which is how I expect to beat this in three days. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your... Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Oh, yeah! Also, there's a part of the randomizer where all other characters have different speeds of movement. So some of these things are going to be kind of fast. Nice work, Shepard. Also, game's a little loud. Did it reset my sound settings? Interesting. That's really weird. You know, after having to worry about uh, stream stuff, you'll notice some weird stuff in, in games, in video games in general. Weird sound issues, weird sound mixing. Some things will count as the things you don't expect. Like sometimes it'll be like a voice that counts as a sound effect. It's weird. What game was it that I played recently where I turned down the music and then was music still playing? And I figured out that in this, he turned off down the master volume all the way, it still plays. Get what it was. Heavy weapon. Sensors I missed. Take the elevator down one floor. You know, next time I actually play through this series properly, I will actually use, I say this every single time, there will be a time where I play Mass Effect 2 and I actually use the heavy weaponry instead of just hoarding it until the very end boss. It'll happen someday. Like I said, I'm not, we're not looking for everything, so bye room. Oh, Jacob. What the hell? On Get over I think I know what random head you have. The Jacob's cooler now. He's Garrus. Thought you were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. He's Garrus without a neck. Mm -hmm. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. What are you talking about, Jay? This is normal Mass Effect. This is just old Mass Effect. It's kind of buggy. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if check, you... Check, check. 
Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Also, when you do that, um, sometimes Shepard's face... Yeah. Shepard's face will stay that way for a bit, and it slowly goes back to normal. Also, am I the only... Did I just make that connection now? Ninja wanted me to do, like, a Captain Planet look in terms of, like, the skin, the skin tone and hair. I never put that together. Why does... Why does Captain Planet kind of have similar things to the Joker? Like, super kind of pale skin and green hair. Hmm. I never really... I never really thought about that. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Can't reach the Come target. on over! Oh, God. Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. All right, what's Wilson look like? What are the chances Wilson has Grunt's head? They're both voiced by the same person. Shepard, down here, bastards got me in the leg. Oh, I think he's just Wilson, but with messed up facial expressions. We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg. Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, so, I was shot. Part of the randomizer is um, characters switch positions in cutscenes. But sometimes they just leave a model like Wilson here with nothing to do, and they'll and they, that model will take that they'll take control of the other model, and they're kind of just on top of each other, talking to each other. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe. Then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. Yep. <laughs> she was over in D Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? He's having a conversation with himself. Possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. If Miranda's dead, there's nothing we can do. We have to save our own asses right now. The shuttle bay is only a few. Subdue we can and overload the canisters to clear a path. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, <laughs> will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Why was there just... <laughs> There's just a random expressionless Cade in here. Oh no. He's a ghost haunting me because I left him on Vermeer. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts. Oh, Caden's still here. At the shuttle. He's now, uh, Wilson's now Caden. Cool. Also kind of, uh, kind of hypocritical. Caden gives you so much crap for working for Cerberus. Caden's been here all along. He worked for Cerberus before I did. Also, Jay, you speak of possession. I mean, look at what my head's doing. 
We've been spotted. Subdue and surpass. God, they're so fast. I guess when it randomized the walking speed of the of a Loki mech, it randomized all of them. So they're all fast. Excuse me. Excuse me. Casualty. It considers because it's the same model. It considers the Loki mech just one character. Hostile forces have engaged. All right. Let's get out of here. Who's Miranda going to be? Come on. Through here. We're almost at the... Miranda. But you are... <laughs> Dead? What the hell are you doing? Kanan. You killed Kanan. My job. And now you're Ashley. Wilson betrayed us all. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. What the? My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive? Oh no, you're Jack with Ashley's I hair. For Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I'm kind of scared to see how you look, so no, it's got. Had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Oh, this is going to be interesting, especially when I get more teammates. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda, more tests? Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Garrus is just being like a really cool streamer. He's he's giving different voices to all the characters. He's doing a good job. Or like a, like a DM playing like a bunch of different NPCs, you know? Just doing a good job. I like it. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you. It definitely changed you. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? He is a ghost. The ghost of Caden is haunting us. We're seeing him everywhere. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> All right, let's go speak to this elusive, the elusive man. man. is waiting for you in the other room. Oh, a hey. Miranda is now Jack without the Ashley hair. Hmm. Now the elusive man might end up just being the elusive man. Sometimes certain models. Just do that, but yep, he's still the elusive man. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. 
Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. <laughs> He's just pouring it on himself. You yeah. might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Wevel up. Do I have any? I don't think I have any gear. Oh no, this is the old Mass Effect 2. That means I have the, uh, the the weapons. I have the Mass Effect like DLC weapons already, and some of the yeah, and some of the armors too. <laughs> hmm. Uh, we're not gonna cover up that face. No, 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 no. We're not covering up that face. Uh. Yeah. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Don't worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? No. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operatives, Tewa and Wasson. Uh, no. I do not. Never heard of it. Hmm. Whenever I think of bad CG in movies, I personally think of Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Well, here we go. Yeah, I mentioned before, I really am not a fan of watching movies that are so bad they're good. I just don't like cringe stuff. But, you know, there's an exception to that rule. I think Mortal Kombat Annihilation is one of those movies that it's so bad, it's kind of fun to watch. Oh, I think it's only because it's a Mortal Kombat movie and it's a sequel to probably one of the best video game movies ever made, the first Mortal Kombat. I mean, the bar is pretty low. 
So it's for whatever reason, it's like I can watch it. Plus, I watched it when I was younger. Maybe that's why. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Hmm. Strange. No bodies. No structural damage. Well, speaking of watching something to scar yourself, um, we could always watch that uh, that Ninja Turtles Christmas special that I have. I've still been meaning to. Um, I've still been meaning to let people see that. That have it. That grew up on Ninja Turtles. Maybe it's pretty. It's bad. It's very bad. Hear that? Sounds like Ben respects. Strange. I think Star Wars is worse, but only because it's longer. <laughs> The turtles one is only like 25 minutes long. Shoot them before they take out your shield. On target. Rerouting power. Max shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Well, that is why I'm not going to be reading a lot of them. <laughs> Just, uh, just occasionally. Oh, I also have mod installed that gets rid of the mini games too. The matching and the hacking, having the hacking. I'm amazed I haven't done that sooner. That's part of the randomizer, I think. I think there's a setting that just gets rid of it. It also seems to be giving me random money, which I, randomizer. Stop right there, Praza. You said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and uh, nervous around... She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. And this is interesting. Shepard's character, who is a random Quarian right now, isn't moving his mouth. I suspected it was because they're a Quarian. They don't move, they, you don't have a mouth to move. But the Miranda... Jack, uh, Marac, yeah, Marac right here, uh, his mouth is moving and they're tally, so why? Hmm, also, Jacob and Garrus, Jacus? Yeah, Jacus and Mirac, those are our new teammates. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Oh, and if anyone popped in after I already said this, there were other settings I did not use. There was one that transfers the bone animations to other parts. So like if someone moves their eyes to look from left to right, it would instead move their arms or something. And you can do like 10 of those connections. It makes it very, very weird. I didn't do it because it kind of breaks the game. Like you really couldn't tell what was happening because people would just be like contorted and you couldn't see their face. And it was just kind of like, it was funny at first, but it doesn't really, I don't know. It did, I don't. It was just like it was one of those things that they also could break the game later. There was even a warning, like it might make things unstable. But once we finish this, I will reset the game and do all those settings and reload the game just to show people what it looked like. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. So was Tally not randomized at all? 
Like, when we get her on the team, I'm wondering if they're going to give her a different face and head or just... Dude, she ate... Okay, all right. <laughs> Mir... Uh... Mirak is, uh, A-posing <laughs> when I get close to her. Garrus. Or no, not Garrus. Jarrus. J J yeah. Jacus. Jacus? Jacob, J yeah, Jacus. Jacus and Mirak. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. Authorized for lethal force. Yay, random money. Let's stop doing that. <laughs> Use overload on him. Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> them. Nah. It's the one thing armor piercing isn't super good against. Shields. I would say barriers, but I feel like barriers normally aren't as strong as shields. I just feel like in this game, most enemies that have barriers, they don't last as long as shields. Yes. <laughs> Shepard, I caught that movement for a second. Hold on. To wait, but they wouldn't listen. They nope. want to right. find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. I think she's fixed now. I think Mirak is fixed now because yeah. Nope, nope, never mind. This hurts you. It kind of does. Oh, I left the tea in the fridge. Hold on. I'll go get the tea. I got the tea. Ah, okay. Oh. Bleh. Bleh. Okay. Oh, this is a randomizer. Got him. And now I'm evil. Yeah, none of my we weapons go. are really good against shields, except that the shuriken is supposed to be good against shields, but it's the shuriken. Yeah, it's the least of these. Ca it's We're good and casual. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. All right, Mirak. Over there. Going to sponsor. Jake is over there. Oh, who wants to sponsor this? What sponsor was unlucky enough to sponsor this stream? Also, the next invisible, by the way. That makes it even more dangerous. More. That mech's got heavy armor plate. No. Those quarians never stood a chance. Mirak, no. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Uh, uh, I was a... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! What's happening to me? I'm dancing. Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't move. Oh no. No. Uh. Well, this is kind of like how I explained it was before. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. It's fine. I got it. Everything's good. Um. This is kind of what the other setting did, but I didn't do that setting, so why am I like this? What's happening? Why am I dancing?
Well, we always did say Shepard was a bad dancer. So. This might be useful. Monsters coming back. Mech's book. Oh, what the? <laughs> Save from swarms. Have to hide. Local man no, very monster. angry about no, my swarm. brand. No, 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 no. Fish dog food shack. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max will. <laughs> Amazon track package. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Do I look human? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see. Everything. Oh, are the collectors going to be randomized too? Looks like security footage. No, nope. I think it's a pre-rendered cutscene. What the hell is that? Yeah. My God. I think it's a collector. That would have been great if it was a shepherd. Shepherd, you did this? I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire... Yeah, that's where Jacob is supposed to be. Once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Mm. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. I can tell from the animation, uh, Tally is kind of affected by it. But since you can't see her face, it's mostly just kind of like a neck tick. It's, this, it's a little, it, she's a little messed up. You can kind of tell, like, her, her head kind of twitched a little bit. Sponsor. All right, let's see. Let's see who is sponsoring this mess. Uh, Sega. Ah, figures. It's a buggy game. That makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Today's stream is unfortunately sponsored by Sega High Tech Land, Camarocho's number one gaming arcade. Whether you're looking for some classics, uh, some state-of-the-art racing games such as OutRun and Super Hang-On, fun futuristic shooters like Space Harrier, the world-renowned UFO Kitchen Crane game, or are just looking for a place to hide from the Majimas of the world, Sega High Tech Land will deliver first-class entertainment for mere quarters. Sega High Tech Land. Play the Crane game. Or else. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we got Sega High Tech Land. <laughs> Uh, you should join us, Towie. No, Vito goes with Towie. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup.
Will our first missions complete? Jacus and Mia, uh, Mirag. Was it Mirag? I've already forgotten the names were. Progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Well, Mist, I can t I can honestly say I have not done a playthrough like this before in Mass Effect 2, so... The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. You will. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Who's it gonna be? Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Oh. I can't believe it's you, Joker. Joker. Who's talking? I saw you get spaced. You're, you're blue. Lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get Glad here? to have you on the team. It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing Glad that mattered to, have you on to me. The Hell team. yeah, I joined Cerberus. Do you really trust the elusive man? Sorry, I was waiting for that to work, but wow, it was so delayed. Uh, missed. But Thank you for gifting bad. five subs. Your life. Let me fly. To Glad Coraline to Who, uh, Frost, Mimikyuti, Raven, and No Number. Yay! Oh, and I can, uh... Glad to have you on the team. Eh. Eh. Manually added. Glad to have you on the team. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I know what I know what he looks like. Joker looks like a uh, uh, what is the name of the of the Star Wars race? That's blue with red eyes. Uh, he's a uh, is it, is it kiss? I think he's a kiss. But yeah. No, no, the other one. <laughs> There's more than one. The human, the more human looking one. Admiral Thrawn. Um, Adam. Yeah, Mass Effect emotes for people. Yay. Well, Joker just got super sad when we were dead. That's why he's blue. Also, the guilt from knowing that he killed us.
Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Things have changed since I was last here. <laughs> I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. So yeah, the randomizer also randomizes the animations of all NPCs in the area. So that's what that's from. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, hey, there's Kelly, who's also Ashley. Well, that naming scheme isn't going to work. Kelly, Ashley. Ke I was going to have to bind the first two parts with end and Okay. Kel Ashley? <laughs> I know where the stuff on the ship is. I've been here. Welcome aboard, Commander. I mentioned I wasn't going to talk. Like, I'm not going to do a lot of side stuff, but I will talk to Kelly. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> ah, that is a setting the Mass Effect 1 randomizer did not have. All right. Well, we're just, we're just going to, we're just going to go. So let's go to Omega. Oh, yeah. I think the map is also, uh, randomized somewhat yeah take a look at this too low on fuel to leave the system under thruster power what the uh oh uh oh oh that's not good that's not a good sign um, I can't get to the relay. I can't get to the relay. Uh, that means I can't leave the system. Which means I can't do anything. Well, that's a shame. Huh. That's a problem. Huh. Well, uh, I have an idea. What if... Yeah, see, I can't even get close to that. Okay, hold on. What if... Okay, spamming A doesn't work. Uh... Hmm... That's, uh, that's a problem.
So I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of a final of a Mass Effect 2 randomizer. Well, that's dumb. I tested this before. It just happened to put the relay in, and I don't know what's happening. Like it's just it's just glitched. This didn't happen when I tested it. We have used half our fuel. Hmm. Also, am I using more fuel than usual? You're out of fuel. Engaging FTL drive for an emergency jump to a fuel station. I'm not even sure if I have enough fuel to get anywhere. See, this is this is messed up. Um, part of the mod, in order to offset the fact that some places might be fired further away, I put it to have unlimited fuel, but it's not unlimited. Again, I tested this. Yeah, I shouldn't be using fuel. We have used half our fuel. I'm also using more, I think, more fuel than usual. I'm running out of fuel very quickly. So somehow it glitched and I'm using more fuel than usual instead of having unlimited fuel. <laughs> Again, I tested this. And it worked fine. I think it's just the fact that it randomized it and I just got unlucky and it messed things up. Uh, you can't t you can't actually change the settings. You have to just uninstall it and then reinstall the mod, the, the mod which, uh, which then re-randomizes everything. I might have to do that. Well, we have two options. I can just continue and do the Archangel and uh, Morden stuff, and we could just stream this today. Or I can attempt to reinstall the mod and see if that fixes it. Uh, let's see how broken this is. Since there was already a, uh, there was already a randomizer in place, so th th I don't know what's gonna happen. This could just completely break everything. I would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Oh, it kept the same face. Good, that's good. Uh, Kelly's different. How may I help you, Commander? Kelly is just purple now. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Well, good for him. I want to see how everyone looks now. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. I, I, did I never notice that? Did I? I never. I did not notice this. Was it like this the first time? I was paying attention to the subtitles because they're all in Uwa mode. Look at his name, Jaconda, Jacob, and Miranda. It literally combined the names in the subtitles. I didn't even notice if it did that the first time. I thought it was just doing Uwa stuff. Wow! It actually knows it randomized them together and gave them a name accordingly. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't. I didn't notice that. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss Jacob Garris. No. It's sad that I was, I really like the fact that, that he had Garris' head. I like that. <laughs> it was like having Garris super early. Oh well. Rest in peace, uh, Garris. <laughs> Jacobs. Well, let's see what Miranda looks like. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my... His food made that guy blue. Commander, what can I do for you? Ashley. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't notice it, because it has the uwu stuff in it. It's, it's Ashley and Miranda. I guess it'd probably be like... What that would have, what would that have been? Uh, well, right now it's Mui. 
Miranda. It'd be Mir. I think it's just Miri. Because W is in replace of the R, so I think it's just Miri. Ash Miranda and Ashley. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Doesn't Miranda's sister refer to as Miri anyway? Hmm. Well, I kind of miss our old teammate setup, but I'm okay with this. I mean, we're going to get more. Now the moment of truth. Like All right, fine. <laughs> they keep telling me that. I see everyone's still dancing. Everyone's having fun. Also, Jay, there's a giveaway um, right now if you'd like to join it. It's supposed to put random messages in the chat like halfway through. I don't know if it's going to. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Uh, and also... Uh, bluish purple red eye Joker is also gone. Aww. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite. You have no choice. Choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Insurance. Uh huh. <laughs> Mm. I'm not sure this is acceptable. Uh, it's a Cerberus ship, though. It's an alliance. No rules about fraternization, right? All right, please tell me this actually works now. Yay, everything's back where it's supposed to be. Yay! <laughs> it works now. Also, cursor in the middle of a screen. All right, to Omega. Like I said, we're just doing the main missions in DLC. And we're doing main missions, which is mostly recruitment missions. Uh, we're doing DLC, and we're doing loyalty missions. Which is the only reason why I feel like I can beat this in three days. So, who's Zaid going to be? Anyone have a guess who Zaid's going to be? I'm assuming it works on the DLC. I'm pretty sure it does. I wonder if they'd put a Krogan head on a human. I would love to see Zaid with a grunt head. <laughs> All right, so we have Mui, which I think is supposed to just be Miri. And, uh, yeah. But a Jacob, it's Jaconda. Okay. I'm actually amazed the randomizer gave them the names as well. I, I didn't notice before. Uh, let's give her Cerberus Operative. I like passive stuff. And let's get I like passive stuff. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. So you see how the changing places in cutscenes uh, breaks the game. It doesn't break the game. It's just like there might not be someone there. They might be standing in the wrong spot. The camera doesn't work like it's supposed to. That's it. It won't actually break the game. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife now. 
quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Uh oh. I have also accessed messages between. I can tell from here. Regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting oh, station. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Information on him. Oh, look, it's Zane. It's Zane. <laughs> Oh yeah, this th that broke a little bit. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Vasani? <laughs> yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. What kind of arrangement? Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Now the downside to that scene was we didn't even get to see what Zane looks like, right? Because it replaced him. Now we can still see what they look like when we talk to him on the ship. But um, what's uh... Let's request new teammates right now. Uh, yeah, Miranda. All right, let's put better stuff on. Uh, Gath Plasma's great. Good. Sure. There he is. Oh, look at him. Actually, it looks pretty good. I kind of like how this looks. Look at Thane. It's he was working out. Hello, Zane. Welcome to the team. We have Miri and Zane. Uh, drinking would just have them all partying. More like they raided a heroin farm and <laughs> mixed everything together. Okay, yeah, yeah. But still, Zane. Zane. All right, worth it. I mean, you can't... What is happening with that guy's weapon? That's psychic abilities. I mean, it makes sense. You can hear the music outside of here. It makes sense people would dance to it. Oh, look at this Come stuff. On, look at it. Look how this is actually kind of... A, this is kind of impressive. Oh. Go on in. I'll be expecting you. All right, we got someone A-posing. I see that. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Also, you'll notice when the cutscene's over, Shepard, st you start where Shepard was in the scene, even if it was randomized. I'm over here. Ah, Omega. There's a keeper on the dance floor. Is that the Dalatris up there? I can't even tell. All right. <laughs> what is happening here? All right. Good, good, good dancing. That's close enough.
Oh, Zane's in charge, huh? Stand still. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Good job, Zane. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. This is just I'm starting to break. CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. He like posing it. everywhere. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone. Uh, I don't remember. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. I do remember there. I remember a few missions that were scrapped from this game, but. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Oh, there is one per I mentioned I was only gonna I was gonna do really side stuff. But there's one teammate I will be talking to when I can to unlock a certain conversation. I will be doing that. Uh Oh. Well the only quest I could think of at the top of my head that was cut from this game was, you know how um, there's a Miranda Jack confrontation? And if you don't have enough points, you can't, you'll lose loyalty by one with one of them. There's also one with Tally and Legion. There used to be one with Grunt and Morden. Same thing, you would lose loyalty for one of them if you didn't have enough Renegade or Paragon. It was cut though. Apparently the audio was recorded. It's, it's online. Uh, let's get Morden first. I usually do. I, well, no, let's just do Garrus. We're here. Plus, I like getting Garrus first. I hear you recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Yep. This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah. Oh, this scene is just falling apart. Kill. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use... Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me <laughs> This later. scene's just falling apart.
Okay. Of course, there's also the whole thing of dark energy that was cut completely from the third game. Which is why you'll still see things in this game that talk about dark energy. It's already been mentioned once. Come on, let me in. <laughs> there's the gun again. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Oh, our driver's drunk. Good. This'll be a fun ride. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. I want to see who Garrus is. Hmm, who's Garrus going to be? Um, anyone have a guess what head Garrus is going to have? They've already used Thane, Ashley, and Miranda. I'm going to guess, for some reason, Legion popped in my head. That'd be interesting. Saeed. I would love it to be Grunt. Oh, that would be amazing. Grunt Garrus hybrid. Miri and Zane. Oh, I forgot to give Zane points. All right, Zane. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate us. <laughs> talking to nobody. But we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's worry about finding him first. So I noticed something. Um, with the with this mod in Mass Effect One that, that changes teammates around or in, like you know bodies around in cutscenes, this one does it in just regular conversations. I didn't I didn't really know that. I should have noticed it by now. So the problem with that is half the time when someone's talking, you can't even see them. I wish I, like, if I had, ah, man, should have thought about that. I'll be honest, I'm tempted, well, well, I'm not going to do it now, but I was going to say, like, I kind of wish in hindsight I would have taken that off. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have a text mod that that makes NPCs have different names of, from, a, from a file. Yeah. Oh, was the, oh they, right, it would mess up. Oh, man. Now I'm kind of regretting putting that back on. Hmm. Hmm. Am I going to do it? Am I tempted to do it? Am I tempted to do it again? <laughs> Am I tempted to... I didn't even think about that. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. We're finally back. No more uwu. I'm actually kind of happy about that. It was funny for a bit, but oh, either way's fine. I, I just I put something down that wasn't that great. I should have known better. I put down something way better. Hey, look! Tech powers and rapid fire weapons do extra damage to shields. Not tech powers. Uwu and. <laughs> this is arguably better. This is arguably better. You know what? I'm going to say it. This is better. This is better. Uh, it's, a it's still Ashley. Zayden. <laughs> we have Zayden. 
and Merle. Yep. All right, Zayden and Merle, let's go. Hopefully we'll see more NPCs with those names because I missed both of them because they were in Uwu speak. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I'm unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not in, do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself. Uh. I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? No, I'm good. I'll get going. Good idea. And that's the thing you can give to Arya, which I will do, maybe. It feels weird skipping stuff. It feels weird not doing every single dialogue option, but... That should slow him down. Yeah. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Is it funny that I was shocked for a second that I heard Miranda? Because I forgot she was in my party. Because I just see Ashley. Oh, it's the Vorcha. Oh, he's doing the robot. Leave us alone. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. I should get going. About time. I never did add the Vorcha thing back in, did I? Ninja? I, that was... I mean, you have, like... All right. You have that command, but it's like, I kind of feel bad because the Vorcha thing was kind of your idea. It's like, I kind of want to put it back in. Oh, no bypass minigame is so good. This is valuable. Just give me everything. Oh, music! Music's here! No shields! You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Yay! Aw, I was hoping you'd be a name, too. You're still just Kafka's assistant. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo. There we go. Okay, the recording is back up for YouTube. Uh, I forgot to delete my previous couple streams. It's like every... It's... It's like I waited until my three-year anniversary to make every mistake that I've made before, <laughs> all in the same day. We're ah, fun. three years of streaming. Uh, He's with Archangel. Uh, can't talk. Uh, See ya. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at how easily the shuriken kills everybody on casual. 
Who's Garrus gonna be? Archangel. I'm assuming this is a different model, so we can't tell yet. I said Legion. Oh, but I would love Grunt. Oh man, if he has Grunt's head, that'd be so good. He wouldn't even fit in that helmet. But he takes the helmet off and he just has this big fat Krogan head on it. The reveal. Who are you? Wait. Shepard. I thought you were dead. Are you just Garrus? I... Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. You can't just be Garrus. Obviously, the randomizer's working. Look at my party. Maybe, maybe it doesn't work for him until he joins the party, since he's like an NPC now. Oh, yeah. Technically, he hasn't joined the party yet. Although, Zaid hadn't joined the party either when we saw he was someone else, so... Huh. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. All right. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. I'm hoping that he becomes someone else when he joins the party somehow. But the fact is, if, if Garrett, you saw what happened, with, you saw what Garrus's face was doing when he was on Jacob. He was all over the place. It looks like the mod isn't even working on his face either. How are you immune? I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. It's, it's affecting him a little bit. But not nearly as much as it was when uh, his head was used on Jacob. Mm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> You can do He's starting to show the effects of the mod. Just like old time, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. They still oh. Garrus. Oh, come on. I want Garrus to be something. Oh. Yeah. No. No, get back here. I, okay. I need to unmap Inferno Armor. Inferno Armor? Inferno Rounds. Inferno Armor is an actual armor. Since I am this class, I should probably be down here anyway. I normally don't do this. I stay up there, but... Being this class on casual, I'm going in. Heads up, they're deploying snipers. I'm ready for him. <laughs> Remember how broken this thing was, this DLC? And how you can use it at the beginning of the game, the original. <clears throat> it's way too powerful. Come on. Hey. Let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Damn it. They're sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself. Yep. Defense systems active. I feel like the walls are a little more sticky in the original Mass Effect 2. This looks interesting. I'm not trying to get on cover. No, well, it's an issue with any cover shooter. Because you also don't want it to get to a point where it doesn't work at all. Because then you just die. Half armor. It's not bad. Oh. Also, uh, because I'm using a mod for controller support, the the sensitivity on the controller is a little different than Legendary Editions. So it's a little interesting to be playing a game like it's pretty much that's Mass Effect Two is very very similar to Legendary Edition Two. Especially with combat. It just feels weird that this the sensitivity on this, I think, is a little higher. Oh, I see why they're so slow. I have that thing on where different characters have different speed. And when we kept fighting mechs, they all have the same speed because they're all the same model. These guys are different. Looks like that's all of them. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. You know what they could be doing? You know how the mod did something I didn't expect, where they, it gave them names that was the combination of their name? Wouldn't it be funny if this mod had a built-in thing where Garrus's face isn't swapped until he takes a rocket to the face? He comes out of surgery on the ship and he has somebody else's face. That would be pretty funny. That'd be, that'd be a, that'd be a really way. cool uh, Go down reveal. Up. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Maybe that's why his face is mostly normal. Also, why didn't it give me the option of having someone stay behind with him? Weird. Oh, I miss permanent sp uh, sprint mod. Should have put that into. Impressive. You die now. Now let's finish you off. I love this gun. Well, that Vorcha was fast. Maybe the Vorcha were a little quick. Well, that's a good thing, though. In order to beat this in three days and just kind of have fun with the goofy mod stuff, I kind of wanted the combat to be pretty quick. There's actually a code for Mass Effect 1 original that gives you a gun that kills everything in one hit. If you want to play through the story and don't care about the combat, perfect. 
it was an assault rifle too, so you could just go and everything was dead. Come on. Yep, I know you're there, fire guy. I remember you. If I would ever do an Iron Man playthrough this game, he'd probably be my first death. Job done. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the doors. Shreds. Oh, he's purple. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. We've been spotted. You know that's you know what Morden thing reminds me of? The XCOM uh, playthrough. Enemy charging. In the XCOM, I did an XCOM playthrough that had Mass Effect mods that added all the Mass Effect teammates to the game. But you could give Morden, like, regular armor, but he was way too bulky looking. And that's what it reminds me of, because that's what it looks like. All right, Garm. <laughs> Yay for casual difficulty. Hey, Garrus. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Get your head down! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Gotcha. Uh... So there was also a randomization option for how to recruit Garrus. And it said, like, it's a secret, but he's right here. <laughs> Not sure if that didn't work or something else is going to happen. This is the only time you'll ever see the shuriken kill people from this far away. Is Garrus the gunship? I think it replaced the gunship with Garrus. I saw him for a second. <gasps> yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's the gunship. Garrus. And Garrus is nobody. Trouble ahead. That was uh very interesting. I'm glad I kept that option on. Oh, I almost had him. Get him. Get him. Okay, go. Garrus. Or whoever you may become after this. Garrus! We're 
getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Get up, Zaddin. Biotic barriers are vulnerable to rapid fire weapons and biotics. Warp is particularly effective. I believe they didn't add. Uh, yeah, concussive shots in this game. Uh, I believe they didn't add the ability to concussive shot until later to make it good against barriers. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus. Wait, why are you Garrus again? Bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but. Oh, that's right. I didn't check. Yep. Yeah, yep. I had a feeling. Tough son of a bitch. Didn't I had a feeling that was going to happen. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Well, how do you feel about humans? That's a really good introduction. He's Garrus until he gets shot by a rocket to the face, and then he's somebody else. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably I can tell. the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Well, I'm glad Garrus Jacob is back. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Oh, his name is Garper. Well, the elusive man's last name is Harper, so I'm assuming that's what they went with here. You wouldn't really, would you just do like elusive Garrus? That would work. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Huh. So what is your name? Now that we don't have Uwu mode on. Commander, can I help you with something? Jackris. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I don't care. All right, let's get Morton. Or whoever Morden may be. So Garrus is the elusive man. Would not have guessed that. I mean, you know, that was an option. So who's Morden going to be? Hmm. I'm going to guess... What teammates do we have? I'll guess Samara. I don't know why. Just, I'll guess Samara. I'm curious what they do with Legion. Legion obviously has a robot body, so I'm... Mm. All right, we are definitely... We're going to bring uh, Elusive Man Garrus and Garrus Jacob. <laughs> it's like having two Garrus. Jackrus. And <laughs> Carper. He's so tall. Mm, that's fine. Quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance oh. at the transport station. I have also run searches for um. reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Oh, uh, his face is kind of melting. It's because they took a human head and put it on a Turian body. Like Turians have longer heads, so it's yeah, it's like stretching stuff. All right, Morden, 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 this way. Oh, yeah, this is the Batarian saying that um, taking away slavery is bad for them. Because slavery is rooted in who they are as a people. So taking it away is wrong. It would hurt them too much. It would hurt their economy too much. This is, this is why no one likes Batarians, you know. Their own 
No, I was kind of hoping more for the Mad Prophet. That's okay. I was hoping he'd be dancing or something. Complaining is pointless. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? That's bad for both of you. This mission is important. I need you to come along, even if it's dangerous. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Cool. I mean, both of you are kind of like half Turian, and you'll be you'll be fine. I'm still doing it. Let's go, team! Oh, ah. All right. It's fine. Wait. Oh, never mind. I was thinking I was thinking we should already be at the other. I was no, I'm just being dumb. How many times have I played this game? First playthrough. Don't shoot. They're cleared to come in. Now, I've never done this before, but you can. If you don't convince him, yeah, if you don't convince him that uh, you should be able to go in, you have to fight them. But I, I've never done that. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Borcha shooting anything that moves. So yeah, remember when I did the uh, the speed run of these games? We're kind of treating the combat situations as like the speed run. Just kill stuff as fast as possible and move on. God, the shirt. Shuriken killed those guys so slow, even on uh, casual. Not, not having this Over on the didn't help. years, I've grown used to the smell of burning bodies. That's probably a bad sign. Oh no! Oh, poor Jacus. He got the slow. All the different characters in the game, besides me, have different speeds, and he got the slow. He's going to be helpful in combat. Garrus, how fast are you? You're like normal to speed. Maybe you'll even a little faster. Hello. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> We're here to find more, not help some whiny Batarian. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. <laughs> By the way, that is a very... Somebody else. Let's move. That is a very fast interrupt. Do you see how long I had to hit the button? Man, Bioware hates Batarians. It just <clears throat> oh that's not good <laughs> ah you're fine your head's human
This thing is so bad. But it gets the job done. Especially up the, up close like that. This might be useful. It's going up. Okay. Even on casual, fire guy dangerous. Yep. This Krogan will uh, insult you. When he sees certain Krogan weapons, income. and of course he said the shuriken, get a real man's weapon. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree on his criti uh, criticism of the shuriken. Pretty crappy. The blue suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Um, controller died. <laughs> Pretty sure I had this thing charging, but I guess not. Anything else want to break today? Hmm? Hey, internet, you want to go out? Also, when I plugged in the controller, it no longer works. I had to say something. Let me turn the controller off, plug it in. There we go. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those max. Field is clear. <laughs> He's delirious. Professor, what the? I did not know the robots could dance. Wait, Morkub. But we know who we know who he is now. Why not Heplicor? Professor Morton Solis? Kind of. Ah! Turian physiology, resilient, with simple immuno booster. Should be fine now. Now to greetings. Human. Curious. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Fortune? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague? Investigating possible use as bioweapon? No. No, the love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Turian involvement surprising. Racial tension with humans. Unlikely to help a human-centric organization. This mission reaches far beyond mere human interests, Professor. We all have to work together to take down the Collectors. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That wasn't a good noise. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take play cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Fortune. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Fortune territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here. So, a human head doesn't seem to be able to handle being a Salarian well. 
wall of Lucid Man's head was kind of melting, Jacob's head was kind of falling apart. Just like over time, it just got worse. Hmm. Yes, Shepard. You need something. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Oh, blue Batarian. I'm not. Can they be blue? I don't know. I was kind of surprised I didn't kill him one hit. It's ducking my shot. Stop it. Get through my sheep. Carnifex time. Yeah, on casual, this thing is going to destroy people. That's why I like it. I missed. I missed. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was dead or not. This should slow him down. I feel like Krogan and Mass Effect 1 are scarier. The way they do the zoomy thing where they just kinda of run into your face and just punch you. I I just think they're I think they're scarier in, in one. Goofier looking, yes, because they just run at you and they just kinda of stand there, but in terms of fighting them. All right, which one is uh, Daniel again? Oh, it is this one. Okay. Oh, Please, I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should Look be out. Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. No, please! Come yeah. In. Um. Hello, invincible Batarians? You're done! Okay. Poor kid. Just wanted to help and he ends up dead. Goes with the territory, I suppose. Poor kid. Just wanted to help and he ends up dead. Goes with the territory. <laughs> Jacob, you're so slow. He not notice? I just okay. I mean they're Vorcha. It's almost time for break fans, guy. God, you're f wow. Yeah, Vorcha are pretty fast right now. We 
good. Nope, one left. <laughs> yeah, the longer fight, the longer this stuff goes on, the more their his face is just busting. Kind of reminds me of the thing. A little bit. The way the skin is is kind of melting. And I don't really like horror movies, but the thing is like the one horror movie I like. And of course it's sci-fi based, so I mean kind of. I think we're close. We need to inject the cure, then get the fans working again. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. There it is. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. <sighs> Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. <sighs> because of shot ready. Only five bullets left, but I love this gun. <laughs> When I used to do Mass Effect multiplayer in 3, the Karn effects would be the one weapon I equip on casters. That way I had a 200% cooldown. There's the cure. Now let's get those fans turned on. Oh no, poor Jacob! Oh. No! He's so slow, he's stuck back there with, with everybody. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. I don't need a sniper rifle when I have this thing. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh. You'll die now! Ow. I'm just not used to it anymore. If I t like when I turn it back on, I think I'm going to do it like a one time redeem per stream. Whoever gets to it first. And when I get used to it, maybe I'll change that. The first fan is on. Let's hit the second and then we can get Hi, the hell off of Omega. Uh oh. That's not surprising. <laughs> Missed all my shots. With the Karn effects, you cannot afford to miss that many shots. I should probably not be using this too much. I need to save it for these guys. This is the only long range. Uh, this is the only long range gun I have. I should save it. It's like I'm gonna be killing people up there with a shuriken. Firing a high impact shot. Ooh, that was my last shot too. Nope, no, 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 no. And stay down. Taking heavy fire. And we're done. There we go. Everyone in the district will be inhaling the cure shortly. Shepard. Hostiles are clear. 
Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Ugh. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. My assistant Daniel. Still missing. Any sign of him? Some Batarians tortured and killed him. For what it's worth, I took him down. Unfortunate. Daniel was skilled. Excellent doctor. Wanted to run clinic one day. Deserved better. Glad you killed his captors. Would have done the same. Killing not against your nature, Doc? Not against killing. Violence sometimes necessary. Not good. Not evil. Simply a tool. I help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous enemies. Either way helps. Vorcha, for example. Attacked innocents. Spread plague. Killing them necessary. Justified. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Uh huh. So who's our next teammate gonna be? What mix? We got Jack and Grunt. Grunt's gonna be a weird one for how big his head is. How is that gonna work? Like whoever Welcome gets his head and whoever head he gets. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. I'm doing Grunt I'm next. I'm curious now. Out, maybe? Not so human centric. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? You're not here to study our AI. You need to figure out how the Collectors abducted those colonists so we can counteract their weapons. Understood. Analyze samples, neutralize Collector attack. Uh, which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. A oh, question on that Paragon interrupt? Oh. Okay. Oh, and I mentioned there was going to be one person I was going to be talking to to get all the dialogue out of them. Uh, it's Morden. There's a scene I want to see how it, how it's how it looks with uh, Jacob's head, I guess. No, I don't think so. I think it's it's his flavor. Like it, it's like you don't have you can stop guessing. You don't have to like run through like, like run your brain through all that. Shepard, how pretty sure anyway. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk. Served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage. Took water. Tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Kirihi. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. And that should be enough to trigger the next part here when you talk to him. Shepard, how can you I got help? a minute to talk? Later, better. Yeah. Anything else? Like I'm pretty sure you don't have to do these to get to it, but I'll I'll just, just need more samples. More ideas, yes. Yep. Let uh, me know when upgrades seem feasible. Is can the lab working well for you? Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue. Oh, we're good. We'll be here if you need me. You can probably guess what scene I'm trying to get to. I just want to see how awkward it looks. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, have I? I'll get right on that. Cursor again. Okay. We're going to go recruit the Krogan, because I'm curious to see what Grunt's body and some random teammate's head is going to look like. What if their head is, like, squished out to be as big as a Krogan? I'm, I'm, I am generally curious here. I want to see it. I guess he's like Shepard's in a world of randomized stuff. It's all messed up, but he's like 
what can, who can we get next? I'm like, oh, we could get a Krogan. Oh, let's go there right now. I want to see this. Uh, yep. And haven't brought Miranda in a bit. <sighs> All right. Uh, assault mastery. Destroyer or champion? Uh, destroyer. I'm playing on casual. Let's just kill stuff faster. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Broadcast well, let's go. Speaker. Oh, it was already on there. Stay focused. Sometimes guns continue board. to have their ammo ability, and the next thing, sometimes they don't. Wow, these guys are good. Three shots, they're dead. Shit, shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. I just kill Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There, you see? I'm helping. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Yep, even a Paragon Shepherd's a jerk to this guy. A nice touch. I thought so. Come on, our warlord is somewhere in Jadon. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Hostiles ahead, watch it. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's still a little jarring to see that. Uh. How the model of Jacob's head just sits on top. I love you, Carnifex. <laughs> oh, missed that one. Man down. Put them down. So, as far as the uh, the first round of recruit missions go, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's just junk planet. I don't know. I like Jax. I like the idea of going to a prison ship and having to break her out of it. It's a cool. It's a cool idea. And then going to Omega is fun. You get to get Morden and uh, Garrus. I don't, this this one, it's, it's probably my least favorite one overall. I like Thanes. And Smars is fine. A 
Hello, who I th hello, person I think is Michael Dorn. You are different, new. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you, something makes me speak. He's only a week old. He must know something about all this if he survived this long. Survive? Yes, I must survive, but not here. Not against these fleshy shapes. I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. I know Michael Dorn voices the other Krogan guy that complains to Rex, and you end up having to kill him. But I, th I think he's voicing this guy, too. It just sounds more muffled. And dangerous. He's wearing a helmet. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab? No. No will to fight back? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. I wonder what happened to this Krogan. Mm. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. They're loose! Run for your damn life! They're all free! <coughs> 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 On Insane, I remember that being hard. You have no cover. Even if you run to this, you end up getting shot a lot. Also, we're playing the original, so less ammo drops, too. Get ready to fight. Which makes using the Karn effects a little more difficult, because, well, less armor. Or less uh, ammo, I mean. See ya. I always appreciate games with combat that have the uh, ability to knock people off stuff. Like, that becomes like a viable way of beating enemies. I rushed in so fast, I don't remember which way I'm going. No, this way. Let's save those shots just in case we have to fight from a distance, because again, I have nothing for a distance. This is valuable. I'm definitely picking sniper rifle on the collector ship. Unless the only time I don't pick sniper rifle on the collector ship is when I'm already a sniper. Because the black, I don't really like the widow that much. It's too powerful. On insane, it's cool. But if I'm playing on normal, I really don't want it. I, if I'm if I'm an infiltrator, I tend to take shotgun. Because you really, you know, I tend to use the locust, which is a more long range SMG. So I really don't need the assault rifle. And I'm using this thing. Oh, right. What abilities do you guys have right now? One down. You guys are so much more useful than you were in one. Teammates in Mass Effect 1 just don't do much. I feel like in 2 and 3, they're way better. They can still be dumb, but... Although Singularity from Liara in one is still pretty good. <laughs> hey guys, hanging out in the corner. I'm gonna map these. Moving. 
Oh, you were slow. Yeah, I think that model is uh, has like the Jacob speed. Yep. It's like all the guy mercenaries have the slow. So oh, that just uh, yeah. Well, randomizer. Again, we can chalk any glitch up to a randomizer. Yep, random. I missed the combat. I enjoy the combat in these games. Yep. Thought I was harmless, did you? And having, if you don't have an overload or incinerate, having teammates that have it is great. Take off shields, burn. Overload deployed. Like that. Oh, you guys are so slow. <laughs> Alright, Turians seem to be like normal speed. Alright, good to know. If anything, it's just separating them out into groups. Yep. <laughs> He's so slow. Unfortunately, that means I can't really use Jacob that much because he's too slow to keep up. Alright, I'm done with using that thing. Thing. How many junk planets are a thing in media? I mean, there's this planet. It literally is just a junk planet. Um, There is a junk planet in Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. I remember that. There's also a junk planet in the Transformers movie, the 1986 one. That's where they meet... Uh, I don't remember his name. It's like something Gar. Wreck Gar. That's what it is. Yeah. So they play a Weird Al song for some reason. It works. Oh, I should have saved this more. There's going to be long range combat here. That's not too bad. I can get closer. Got a little aggressive there. Oh! Oh! I haven't improved this thing at all, so I don't get any shield back when I do it. I did not notice. Um, I don't know. Oh, wouldn't that be bad? What if, what if you put someone in the tube that had low speed? Oh, what if that actually, oh, that'd be terrible if it worked that way. It depends on how they coded it. Everyone has the same speed normally. So when they're in the tube, if either it goes by a constant speed, like number, or if it goes by their own, which is always the same anyway. I guess we'll maybe find out. We'll stick Gares. We'll we'll stick uh, we'll stick Jacob in the tube, which is kind of the joke to do anyway, because everyone talks about it. You know, Jacob go Jacob goes in the vent. Hmm.
Man, I'm getting bad rolls on the money. I think the money's randomized and I'm getting terrible numbers. Wait. I've watched your progress. How did I skip that one person? Remember the person from Mass Effect? Oh, I think she's dead. Man, I think if you if you don't import a save file, she's dead, so the room didn't have her in it. Got it. Okay. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. You don't want to know who I am before you start making demands? I know you, Shepard. Your own demands will come, I'm sure. You weren't dragged back from death because someone needed a diplomat. Surprised. All Krogan should know you. Or have you forgotten your actions on Vermeer? I make no apologies. It was the most efficient solution. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. Personal issues irrelevant. Here for the collectors. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure Hayden? With that, I will inflict upon the genophage oh. the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Caden is the perfect Krogan. Interesting. If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Now you know something. Don't jerk me around, Okir. I will give you everything I can. My legacy must not suffer this insult. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. So, Grunt and Caden. Graydon? <laughs> it's gonna be Graydon? So, I, I mentioned I was curious how they would do that, but it makes it does make sense to have a smaller head on Grunt's body. There's just, like, extra room in the helmet area. But I'm wondering who gets Grunt's head. Like, who's that gonna fit on? Except maybe no one does. Maybe that's why we have the Elusive Man. Maybe whoever modded this saw that the, the, the Grunt head just didn't work and put the Elusive Man's head in instead. Although we do have Caden and Ashley, two characters who aren't on your team in two. So we're, we're, there's, we have three people we're not gonna get. Yeah, I'm fine. Trash talking me after she's dead. You ever seen those what ifs? Kind of like a what if? Wait, what, what, what do you think would have happened in the story if this happened instead? Uh, what would you think would have happened if Okir survived? He wouldn't have let us use Grunt. 
probably. He would have used him for his own thing. So I don't I don't know what would have happened. Although remember, Grunt uh, was not imprinted properly with Okir's stuff. So I wonder what would have happened. Okir wasted his life to save this single Krogan? Delusional. Unlikely one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. Am almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No, but Krogan genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well. Have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. Hey, Gaiden. Oh, it's time to wake up Caden. Hello, Puck Alive. Hey, I'm still waiting for a Krogan romance in a, in a game. Mass Effect 4, make it happen. I want Krogan romance and I want an AI romance. You already had Joker and Edie, but I want one for like the main character. Bringing the Krogan for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. Well, Ashley, of course, well, you're a combination of Miranda and Ashley. Of course you don't like the alien. Merely. Yeah. Some interesting hybrid teammates. There's no way he's getting out unless one of us lets him out. Or unless Okir installed some sort of failsafe. Or a malfunction causes the tank to shut down. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. I'm definitely activating Krogan. Let's go. Again, let's talk to uh, Morden. He's the only one I'm going to talk to because I want that certain scene. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Yeah, Next good old time, war criminal Morden. Good for free time. Well, I do like his character growth. He he thinks the genophage was the right move on paper. But once he sees what it's really done to them, like in between like two and three, he changes his mind. And even then, it, it, I think it's kind of like it was the genophage was the right move at the time, but it's just it's lasted too long. Because, I mean, he does say the only option to stop the Krogan would have been to kill them. They were struggling to fight them. But even if they could, the only other option would be to just kill them all. So in his mind, it's like, this is the better option. They get to live. Like, yeah, but I mean, it's kind of like a tortured living. I don't know. They're a warrior race. Commander, there's a message waiting it might have been better if you just killed them. It's from Admiral Anderson. Anderson? Yeah, we'll go see him at some point. Let's go wake up Caden Krogan. Uh, which one is it? What's this area? No, nope, don't care. Normandy's cargo deck. Other That's one all for now. Logging you out. I always get that wrong. Caden, wait, are you not Caden anymore? Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, it's gotten worse. Before it was just Cadence. Oh, the subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. 
it was only Caden during the cuts during that scene. It's somebody else now. Stand by. I'm going to open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. I can't tell who it is. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Let's wake up this abomination. This is going to be the worst one yet. Probably the worst one total. Uh, oh boy. Oh no. Is it Ashley again? Do we have two Ashleys? Why are you coming? Why are you looking at a different angle? That's well, wow, that's that was really creepy. That angle. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. My oh, yeah, this is, yeah, like I said, this is gonna break. Things, but the tank, Okir couldn't implant. It's Ashley. Connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, let Ooh, me see. Grunt. Okay. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. I had a feeling Grunt was going to be the worst because, you know, big Krogan head. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do, fight and determine the strongest, but his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Wow. Put like a horror uh, tag on this. Ugh. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan... If I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. We're not going to talk to Grunt again. <laughs> well, when Grunt's not, you know, it's not that bad when he's not talking. Ugh. We're just going to we're just going to never go into the cargo bay. Shepard, what if we need something in the cargo bay? Cleanse it with fire first before you take it out of there. Ugh. I wonder if Anderson's going to be head swap because he's not, he's not a teammate, but you know he's Commander, you received a well-known character. So we have two Ashleys: we have Gruly and we have Merely. Uh, let's go to the Citadel. We have to go there to get uh, Kasumi anyway. Oh, cause how is Kasumi going to work with the hood on? All right, while this is loading, I'm going to get my smoothie. Because that's my dinner. Die smoothie. Yeah. 
All right. All right. How scary? How scary is Kasumi going to be? Oh, what if Kasumi has Grunt's head? <laughs> I don't think any. No, we're not taking Grunt. I'm never taking Grunt. We are taking. We are taking Buff Morden. Buff Morden's my favorite character. And. I mean, the I don't know. The others are kind of rough. You have like long, elusive man neck face that kind of melts sometimes. Jacob is just his face is falling apart. Uh, Miranda's not too bad. Jacob's so slow. No, I don't want to take Grud. <laughs> take Miranda. See, Miranda's fine. She's just like broken, weird neck. Ashley. And then the best one, Buff Morgan. Shepherd. Oh, yeah. What if, well, when the thing is, they high, they can't be faster than me. Hurts you. Like, because if they're faster than me, they have to go They're They're behind me. So theoretically, they can't be faster than me. And I'm normal speed. All right. Hold on. Let me open up this smoothie here. How do you taste? Eh. Eh. A little runny. I can no longer find creamy almond milk because so I'm using regular almond milk. There's only one car per uh, per cup. It makes for a runny smoothie. <laughs> All right, mercenary warlord or command? Oh, warlord, warlord Morden or Zayden. Kind of officer is Merly. Cerberus leader or tactician? Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Well, it makes squad weapon damage go up. That's good. That's a good buff. Good buff. All right, we're here to get Kasumi and talk to Anderson. And that's it. We'll come back when it's time for Garrus and uh, Thane's loyalty missions. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do a little... Uh, what the... the password and receive a free gift. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. So, the game must consider Hanar to just be Commander faces. <laughs> we have the finest and the key. Well, Keeper's just dancing. Keeper's dancing. Something petite, smart, yeah. Japanese would be your style. Hey, Lishi. Enter your password for a fabulous prize. Welcome to randomized Mass Effect 2. Oh. Okay, really? How many times? I'm talking to you. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm Are you also Ashley? You're Kate. Uh, why? Why are there so many Ashleys? Randomizer, come on. Why are there so many Ashleys? Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. What does formal wear have to do with anything? I guess you could go with what you have on, but you'd kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. <laughs> a man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. So many Ashleys. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. All right, so we have a we have a dancing Hanar, kind of. They kind of look like shrimp, don't they? Like the way they've been changed, they kind of look like little shrimp. <laughs> sort of. Like, can you, can you kind of see it? Like the... Eh. And then you have Dancing Keeper. Yeah, he's just enjoying himself. Uh, Anderson. I mean, a li I'm saying like a little bit. Because like those little things are kind of like its eyes. And then you have like the whisker things and then the leg. I don't, it's close enough. What else does it look like? <laughs> 
What else does it look like that's closer than that? No, I went to the Normandy. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. That was just me clicking a button. And we can always go back later. We can we can talk to Anderson later. I need to go back for those loyalty missions anyway. So. Let's go get Jack. Bum 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 bum. Cursor. Ah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's funny. This is my third year anniversary stream thing this week. And I had a bunch of technical issues earlier. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to go to Elgato's site and see if I can find an update. Because that manual update seems to have messed up some stuff. I'm Grunt, you're never coming on a mission. Buff Morden's coming. And Ashley Kasumi, I guess, because you're new. Oh, I took the wrong Morden. I took Morden. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. Um, Swant. No, I can't go back. This is who we got. Following since May 28th, 2020. All right. How messed up is Jack going to look? Oh, don't tell me Jack is all... I, if Jack also has Ashley's face, we're just going to have a team of Ashleys. At least, at least give... At least do be something different for, for Jack. Please. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. You know, the weird thing is, Turian... Turians don't seem to be that randomized, except for Garrus' head on Jacob's body. Like, every other Turian head just doesn't do much, except for that one. Huh. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, like, it's not that messed up. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. This is considered a cutscene. So Sh Shepard is now the guy talking. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Let's get on with this. Suppose escape attempts are minimal in number. We're in space. They have nowhere oh, no, to it's go. Oh, now it's They know it. Well, Still, Kaylee. We exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> it's a Turian guard and a robot that got in a fight, and the prisoner broke it up. Population. Yep. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. That should be a red flag right there. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Why is out processing past 
a bunch of stuff. Oh, no. Um, I can't move. I cannot move. I am stuck. Well, we live here now. We live here now. Hopefully that fixes it. It better fix it. I guess we found the one time that changing people in cutscenes breaks the game. It never did it in Mass Effect. It doesn't matter who I was replaced with or who I replaced. It never broke it. Oh. I'm a robot. Yay, robot. Redeems T-Pose. Also, yeah, I could have turned on the squad mate thing, I suppose, in this game, but we're going through the missions pretty quickly. Torture. Oh, no. Some sick freaks. Oh, no. Jay, you're beating up. No, Blue, you're beating up Jay. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. So I have a thing where it, it, it puts different names to NPCs. Blue is just beating up Jay. <laughs> Stop it. It's not his fault he doesn't like Dragon Age. Stop. Eh, yeah, carry on. Is there something I can do for you? This isn't my business. Glad you understand. <laughs> yeah. Eh, yeah, keep it up. Hey. Hey, guys, over oh, here. Oh, it's delightful. Let me ask you something. Ooh. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. I've come to collect Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I should go. Wish I could go. Well, don't murder people. Oh, it's Scandy. Hey, Scandy, how are you today? I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, well, you're happy. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. Oh. Now processing's through the door. Hazel. Side of the room. Does this mission just have everyone from that document? You know, it would have been funny is uh. I wish this worked on Legendary Edition. Can you imagine having a file, like not even doing any of these settings, doing none of the randomization settings except for the name one, just just the name one, and making a document of like 500 names or something, like people you know, but also just random names, kind of like Jay's uh, Counter-Strike bots, and every NPC in the game is just named something. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Go to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. This is such a dumb choice by him. Incoming. And what did you think was going to happen? I was going to be like, oh, yes, of course. I'll, I'll just go in the cell. Yeah, I mean, I would say he's a prison warden, which means he's probably not that dumb, but he is kind of also just like a like a warlord almost. He has an army of convicts that he could just use on people or sell to people or. Uh, yeah, there's also that we have somewhere to go. Interconnected controls. Opening one opens them all. Okay. Chaos. Thank you, Morkob. Way to get Jack out of there. I'm all right, Kaylee. Be ready. 
Please don't be Ashley. I don't want to see Jack Lee or Jally, Jaylee or something. Like, just don't. What is happening? My teammates just replaced mechs. That's why they look like that. <laughs> That's just a mech. That's Jack? Not what I was expecting. My teammates were, were like contorted into mechs. This is so dumb. Camera, zoom out, please. I can't see anything. Yep, <laughs> are people, oh no, I'm a mech. We have to get down there. Oh, that was, that was interesting. All right, I'm glad I kept that on. I still don't know what Jack is. Could be in danger. I don't know who Jack's head is. This is valuable. We won't know until we actually guards, get to them and talk to them. He's bluffing. All right, even on casual, these things can be a little tough. Ow! Like I said. Uh oh. Oh, I mentioned one of the um, settings I can use for the insane randomized run, if I end up doing it. Uh, there's a way to change weapon stats, which means you could you could do it and make the, like you could end up having a shuriken that's amazing, and then a widowmaker that's just like a pea shooter. <laughs> These guys are so slow. <laughs> I remember this version of the game has the glitch in Kasumi's mission, where that Solarian just screams over and over again. That's in this version. Ah, mech again. I don't have any overload. Ow. But I do have incinerate. And armor piercing rounds. Of course. Uh, it mostly only t changes out. It'll mostly only affects your teammates. But yeah, you're right. In that cutscene, it will be somebody else. Uh. Oh, well, they're just burning to death. Works for me. Find Jack. Full alert. Find Jack. The Carnifex is not supposed to be good against shields because it's a single fire weapon. It's supposed to be good against armor, I believe, not shields, but it's so powerful, it doesn't matter. All guards to cell block one. I want to see a cutscene where Shepard is a collector and he does the assuming direct control thing. Oh, a random prisoner is the enemy. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Burn through any All right. Armor. Oh, well 
I don't think it's the design. It's more it's more just that rapid fire weapons overload shields faster. Because instead of hitting a shield once every like two or three seconds hard, you're just peppering it. And I guess logically that might be better against the shield, right? Like constantly straining it. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> Kasumi's broken. Can I, can I actually hit that from here? Does that count? No. Okay. Now it's just him. My no good weapons, well, besides the Carnifex at this range. All right. Also, I can't use Biotic Charge on this guy. Wish I were standing down with. Oh, someone's behind me. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> if I kill him, it doesn't matter. All right, Jack. Well, it's because it's Kasumi right now, but it's Ashley. It's Ashley again. Why are there so many Ashleys? Ashley effect. Cerberus. Oh, thank you, friendly Patarian. Wait a minute, that isn't a thing. What the hell do you want? <sighs> My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere. Ooh. You're Cerberus. Jaylee, I knew it. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. Could knock her out, resolve this aboard the Normandy? I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you think. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. <laughs> so why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Move out, Ashley's. Man, Samara better not be Ashley. We're gonna get Thane, he's gonna be Thanely. Samarly. Lee Lee Leagely. Ta Tally? <laughs> that one already works. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. I kind of forgot Miranda was also Ashley. There's Miranda, there's Jack, there's Grunt. Was there another Ashley? Uh. Uh, who was? No. I think it was the three. Okay. No, oh, oh Kasumi. Kasumi. Yeah, there's four. Okay. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, Precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. So dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Morning, because he's the one person I'm going to talk to. Shepard, 
How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to yeah. determine how... Okay. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. That's fine. The elusive man wishes yep. to speak to you in the deep. It's time for Horizon. Now, I don't remember who who did I say? Oh no. I saved Ashley, didn't I? Watch Ashley just be Ashley. Like somehow Ashley just has Ashley's head. <laughs> like it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's like Ashley's head on top of Ashley's head. Watch me, Caden. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. I have four of them. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Let's go find a fifth. We're just collecting Ashleys. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, wouldn't it have been amazing if it replaced that thing with, like, Morden? And somehow Morden was just, like, contorted like the mechs before into that little, in that little bee thing? Tell me you have something. That's not a smile. Yes. Good job. What was your name again? Morkub. <laughs> All right. I mean, you know what? As long as as long as Samara and Thane and Tally aren't Ashley, I, it's fine. Just give, give me, give me the last. Have the last three characters just be not Ashley. All right, pre-rendered cutscene. You can tell because of the res just how it looks. But now it's Lily, not. You know. We've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Sorry Commander. Chief. Getting our comm systems, systems back, back online, online takes, takes priority. priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People, people out here don't trust, trust the, alliance. the Alliance. It's nothing it's personal. Nothing There's personal. two characters on top of each other. That's why you're hearing an echo. What is that? Also, they're treating Ashley like an NPC, not a teammate. That's what they gave her different hair and, and skin color. So she's not going to be anybody. She's just going to be herself with Get different hair. To the safe house. Because she's not technically a teammate. I'll cover you. So she's Ashley. Like I said, everybody's Ashley. Ah! Collector on the ground. I really hope Shepard, like in some scene, if there is a is the possible scene for it, Shepard is a, is the random collector that becomes Harbinger. That'd be kind of funny. That pre-rendered. Assuming control. Hmm. 
This one is not Ashley. Of their perfection. Prepare these humans for ascension. Well, you know I have to bring Team Ashley, right? Which which one? Uh, well, which Ashley should we bring? I'm gonna bring Jack Ashley. Uh, who? What other Ash? Oh God, I knew that was coming. Fine, I'll bring Grunt. Uh, uh Warlord. Vanguard or Adept? Yeah, Vanguard. Got any new weapons that I, to speak of? I, I I need to do. I should have done Kasumi's mission earlier so I could just replace the Shuriken. All right, it's time. You know, I was thinking that a good place like to get to tonight on day day one of three for this would be Horizon, and we're already here. Good. Making good time. All right. How's our team doing? How you, how you guys doing? Hello. Hello, Jack hey, Ashley. Hey, Grunt what? Ashley. You sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms. In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Groovy. Is contact with seeker swarms. Look for it. Groovy. If you survive. We have Groovy and Jaylee here. Where'd you go? I know you're there. Yeah, you're there. Can't target them. Ah. <laughs> there they are, and they're ignoring us. Man, I love the husks in Mass Effect 2 and 3. They're just so much creepier. Husks in 1 weren't creepy, they were, but they were powerful. On harder difficulties, they could just one-shot you, depending on how strong your shields were. But uh, I, the ones in this are just like zombies, you know, and I like it. But it means that it's kind of funny. The, the, the Reapers consider humans to be like the best possible Milky Way species to make into a Reaper, right? But then why do we make the worst reaper things? We're husks, we're lame. Those things look like the husks. Everyone else has cool stuff, and we're just husks. Didn't that Geth stuff come from Sovereign? Then your elusive man was right. Collectors must work for the Reapers. Oh, they're both slow. They're both slow. Well, no, actually. Uh, th this Ashley caught up a little bit, but uh, they both seem a little slower than I am. Yeah, especially Grunt. Sort of looks human. This one of the colonists. No, on Eden Prime, victims were impaled on giant spikes to turn them into husks. I haven't seen any on Horizon. So the collectors had the husks and took the colonists alive for something else. This colony is under attack, remember? Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss man. Oh. Looking back. Stop looking back. Stop, stop looking back. Gone. Peaceful. Usually takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. Got one. 
plenty more where that came from. Speaking of water shields, could you imagine getting through this game on an Iron Man playthrough, not dying once, and then dying to Marauder Shields? The very last enemy in the game that can kill you? <laughs> oh, that'd be such a bad feeling. Kind of like doing like a perfect run in a, in a speed run, and then messing up at the very end. Hey guys. That's why I'll probably never do a speed run. I just don't like that kind of pressure. Get, come on, come over here so I can hit you. Get, what are you doing? Hmm. Interesting. The NPCs that are in stasis are not randomized. Is it because they're considered to just be the environment and they're not technically people? So they're not randomized. Oh. I mean, they don't have to be animated. They can't move. All right. I know they're coming. Yep. I was really hoping for one of these to be one of my teammates flying through the air. <laughs> like seeing Garrus as the gunship was pretty funny. I am assuming direct control. My attacks will tear you apart. I gotta move because that thing's gonna mess me up. Gotcha. Releasing control of Got this it. Form. Quick. We got more. Do I have a? Uh... Oh, it's not on. Whoops. That would have made the shuriken a little better. Now it's actually killing things. That's what I say whenever I bench something. <laughs> this body doesn't matter. Ah, the good old days where I would just get a get you know, want to play want to play some Mass Effect. Let's get some pizza and some you know, just eat some pizza while playing some Mass Effect. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there it is. How's this guy gonna look? Well, I plan on starting next week. I plan on starting my couch to 5K again. Get out here. That's yeah. my attempt at slowly fixing my body a little bit. Because I've been very inactive like the last six months. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here. To the point where I've been sore from doing nothing. You know you're getting out of shape when it's just like you're, you feel sore, but you're like, what have I done? Oh, nothing. So, yeah. It's, it's going to be fun. I love jogging. No, I don't. You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, 
They got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. Hmm. I need to know what I'm up against. Tell me everything you remember. We lost our comm signals a few hours ago. I came down to check on the main grid. Then I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Which Chief Williams? Also, this guy has frosted tips. I haven't seen those in a while. If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. We can figure it out. Just give us the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Probably. All right. Let's get going. Oh, this is where the Scion shows up. I remember this. Uh, swimming is good. Swimming is like full body exercise. I wish I had access to something like that. You don't even have to do exercises. You can just kind of like float around and move around and swim. It's just like constant uh, resistance. It's good. Impact shot. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. You cannot stop us. Ah. Uh. Wait, aren't you normally over here? Randomizer? On the ground, now! My favorite thing. Oh. Yeah, probably. I just think I just thought it was funny that humans make the crappiest Reaper soldiers. Turians make these awesome ones that have shields that can give shields to people. Even the cannibal ones. Even the Batarian cannibals use weapons and they can eat each other to gain like health and armor and stuff. It's like that's that's kind of cool. And we're just husks. Now what's this? How come we don't see more frozen people around? Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. Guess they're almost done here. Oh, it's boss fight time. I know this room. If you played this game on Insane, you know this room. Worthless. Just like the room on the collector ship that has the other Praetorian. I remember that room. That's where I died the most of my insane playthrough, too. Any other Ashley, There's Ashley number middle. three? No, Ashley number four. We got you last. You're Ashley number two, I think? Normandy, you copy. Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. The collectors will try to stop it. Good. Please don't speak again. Uh. We'll stop them. Easy enough. Maybe not. Enemy reinforcements closing in. I Can't wait for Grunt's loyalty weapons. mission. <sighs> Impact shot! I will direct this personally. Mark, 
Oh, what? Well, randomizer. It's the randomizer. Every glitch is the randomizer. My bullet hose is out of bullets. I need bullets badly. The only good thing about the shuriken is it holds a lot of bullets. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at forty percent. More coming. I guess we got their attention. Damn, that took six shots from a Carnifex to kill him. It grows so slow. He can't even turn around. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. Come on, Grunt. You can do it. Direct intervention is necessary. It sucks that we can't really tell which one of our teammates are faster. Since they can't go faster than me, really. Your form is fragile. I was not going to turn that setting on. Our power is can you imagine if I turned on that setting and I was slow? As we saw Jacob and Grunt. I, I, no. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> It'll be like we'd be walking, we're going through the entire map like this. Guardian anti ship batteries at 60%. Seeking no, Ashley, we only have three left. Continue to protect the tower. Oh, you're back up. All right, Praetorian's coming at some point. Yep, it's coming. Let's do this. Edie, we need that system online. Don't know what that is, but keep back. Guys, could you please do anything to help me? Right. What's that? Firing anti ship batteries at collector vessel. On the ground now. My attack didn't work. Yeah. Oh man, if only insane could be that easy. <laughs> I think it's a bullet sponge. We did it. We saved Horizon. They're pulling out. What's left of it? There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I did my best. You just hid in your damn bunker. Show respect. If it wasn't for Shepard, you'd all be on that ship. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy. The first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. All oh, the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. 
Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. Uh uh. I thought you were dead, Shepard. We all did. Oh yeah, I think I said it to where I romanced Ashley in one in the beginning thing, so that's why. Okay. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it? You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? We had something, Shepard. Something real. I... I loved you. I thought you were dead. I almost... How could you put me through that? Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Uh, because I wasn't. Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? Wow, you guys are slipping. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. I got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was sent here to investigate Cerberus, not you. I wanted to believe you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. How could you just turn your back on all of us? You betrayed the Alliance. Anderson, you betrayed me. This isn't about me working for Cerberus, Ash. Something far more important is at stake. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard. But I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? I hate these guys too, but they're not the only threat out there. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. Sounds like you left reason behind a long time ago. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. No, join me. Join my collection of Ashleys. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. Goodbye, Shepard. Just try to be careful. I could use someone like you, Ash. To Cut up. to this scene. I've had enough of this colony. Now, I believe this is where the loyalty missions start popping up. I'll get my teammates first before I do any of them, though. You know, there's always a chance that we're making such good progress. I mean, we still have three recruitment missions, two main missions. Not kind of the ending. All loyalty missions, but... Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. But um, if we end up finishing this, like, super early on Wednesday, I'll, I'll have to find something we can do. Eh, it'll be like a Saturday. I'll play some Fall Guys, we'll load up Hollow Knight, and I'll mess around in it. We'll, you know, it's whatever. I kind of didn't know I would get through this this quickly. I guess I should have known. You can beat this game in like five hours if you just rush through it. It was our first strike. How do we find them next time? The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. What's our next step? We have to keep the pressure on the collectors. They'll be more cautious with their ground operations. So we need another Good night. opening. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? Also, let me fix something here. That got turned off. Yeah. Again, I'm only going to have it up for this week, so. I generally don't like to put stuff like that on there, but that's part of the point. All right. I don't know how I hit that. 
Uh. It was hard to see Ashley again. And now it's done. Best to leave those connections behind and focus on our mission. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Thanks for the pep talk, but we'll be fine. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Yeah, I'll pick up the loyalty missions, just so I have them. But we're gonna go recruit more first. I believe Jacob and Miranda both have theirs right now. So let's get those. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Well, I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Hmm. And Miranda. Since I know... Commander, you received well, a new message yeah, at your you should have terminal. yours. And then every time we do a mission, it should unlock another one. I think Morden's... I don't remember if it goes in order by recruitment or if it's order by character. Meaning, I don't know if Morden is next or Garrus, since I got him next. Shepard... I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. And I'm guessing he caught up with you. My father has given up coming after me, and he's not stupid. He won't cross Cerberus. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Uh, understood. Ah, as you can see, the morale of the crew is pretty high. Got some dancing going on, got some A posing. Some more A-posing. Good. Commander, there's a message waiting at your private terminal. I don't care. I believe it's from Admiral Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So let's go. Who should we get first? Uh, let's get Tally. Please don't be a fifth, Ashley. Just uh, don't be, don't be Tally. Be Tally. I'm not even sure what they could do with her head in this, because she has a helmet on. How does that going to work? I guess they could just take the whole helmet off and put a head on her. Oh. Huh. What about the filter? Well, well, I guess the filter stays the same. I was thinking, like, what if someone had Tally's head? It'd be cool if they built into the mod, like, they gave, like, the voice, whoever it is, the same uh, effect. All right, well, since we're going to get Tally, let's bring Garrus. And... And I'll bring Buff, uh, Buff Morton. Yeah, Buff Morton. <laughs> Buff Morton's the best one. Uh, Renegade or Survivor? Renegade. Eww. Strangely enough, the sun doesn't hurt you in this. It takes out your shields, but your health is fine. Activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Hastrum's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. All right, Tally, we're coming to get you. Shields are overheating, Shepard. If we stay in the shade, we should be fine. Thank you, Garper. Yep, you know, you know it's depressing. Tally loses her entire crew, her entire team for this dark map, this dark energy data, and it doesn't matter. The whole thing about how they hoped this this information was worth it, it wasn't, because they dropped the dark matter or dark energy uh, plot point, plot line. So it really wasn't worth it. Her team died for nothing. Oh, the geth are different color. Eh, purple geth. Oh, this geth is going way over here. Now, what's this? <clears throat> Ow. Uh, oh, there's a bunch. Thought there was only one left. There's gotta be a better way through here. We're burning up. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm not. By the way, these randomizers seem to love purple. The one in ME1 did too. I feel like purple and green were two very popular colors. My character was purple in Mass Effect 1. Ah, Tempest. That's an improvement. I don't like it as much as the Locust, but this is definitely an improvement. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What's your current position? We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter that doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. Full position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a dropship coming in. 
Ah, yes. The seven foot tall piece of stone I can't climb over. So there's one over there and one over there. Charge number one, and I built. I think we might be able to get over there from here. Nope, never mind. They just spawned out of nothing. Oh no! Morden is uh, Morden. Uh, 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 what's your name? Um, hold on. I don't remember. It was uh, Zodin? 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 Yeah, I think it was Zodin or something. He's also very slow. Don't worry, Garrus, I'll help you. Shot. Or... Get, uh, Garper? Yeah, Garper. I'm having a hard time remembering these names. I can see him in here. Yeah, Garper and Zodin. Yep. Remember to stay hydrated. Good idea. This I'll drink some, uh... Shepherd. Some smoothie. Yes. Yeah. All right. Firing eye impact shot. Ooh, epic peppermint tank. Mm. I like that it tells you what skin it has in the chat when you do that. Literally. I need to increase my charge a little bit if I plan on continuing to use it even just a little, because I'm not getting any shields back. That's very dangerous when you have a charge that doesn't give you shields back. All right, you know the drill. I'm on it. Got it. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on. You can do it. Yeah, you're there. That's enough. Let's move before it blows. That'll be fun. See? Not only is this something we could easily climb, the explosion's kind of lame, too. Like, that, that... You saw how far I had to get back before the number wasn't red? That'd have been fine. I think we got them all! I think this is also the room that you find the Geth Plasma. Gorian Architecture. 
You find the Geth plasma rifle if you did the, everything you were supposed to do. Why the hell would the Quarins come? I actually don't remember how to get the Geth plasma rifle. There's a way. There's something you have to do in the game to get it. I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, there it goes. Hello? Is anyone there? Tally, it's Shepard. Shepard? I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest times. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? We can talk about it later. What's your status? Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Get outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. I'll try. But it won't matter because he'll be dead in three. There's actually a mod to keep him alive. I used it. All it does is uh, you get an email instead of saying that We've Rieger died. It says that he's, he's fine. The drones have optical camouflage systems, and here I was worried this would be too easy. There well, it go. comes in the it comes there the territory with voice acting. Sometimes contract negotiations uh, get characters killed. Oh, that's bad cover. Such little targets for this thing. Oh, that's bad. Enemy. Any more? No. Purple Colossus. Son of a bitch! Move! Get down! Ah, oh, definitely like old times. Like I said, these randomizers like purple. Over here! Get to cover! Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Pally's inside over there. The Geth killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. Can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. Ah. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. 
I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit him for me. Kilo Salai. Heads up. Oh. Kilo Salai. I've lost shield. <clears throat> Now, in this fight, I always go up onto the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, like the, the, the models have to go back to where they started to talk again. You can even see Shepard kind of like fast jog back to the position. Oh, that was bad timing. Uh oh, <laughs> that homes in quite a bit. One less to worry about. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot if the cover doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have no shields for this fight. Health regeneration also stops. I'll take the shot. Okay. Let's actually wait for my health to come back this time. Ah, that's better. Guys, where are you? Oh, more. Wow, Zaid's actually like up here. I mean, Zadin. Zaid's Morden, Zadin. There he goes. He was too slow to get the cover. Well, we did it. Whenever I'm playing this, I always check to see if Rieger's still alive. If you take too long in that fight, Rieger can die. So I always make sure he's still alive. I mean, we're not going continuing this into three, so it doesn't matter. But plus, I did that pretty fast. He's probably fine. Yeah, I had it happen. I had it happen where I was playing and he just died randomly. I think it also involves um, how many enemies you might let past you. Like if too many enemies get past you. And around, it's possible that might be what does it. I don't Just know. Let me finish this download. Ooh, Red Geth. Tally might just be Tally. It might have been too difficult to try to put a head on her since she has like the, you know, the whole suit and the hood and maybe Tally will just be Tally. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger! You made it. His neck just snapped. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Ah, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. 
Although maybe she changes now because she officially joined. Even though Morden, you could tell who Morden was before he joined the party, but that was Morden. You have to get him. Oh, still Tally. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Tally Zora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. That's all I'm asking, Tally. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. Yeah, Jacob has to get that, that like, passive jab in. It, you know, I try to like Jacob, at least in two, because in three, I know he, he kind of doesn't really do much and he cheats on you if you romance him in two. But he is kind of too aggressive towards Tally. Like, Tally, he didn't, have to, he didn't have to say that. And then with Thane, especially. Drop it. Everyone, on, you're, you're questioning an assassin who seems to have, like, a spiritual soul. Meanwhile, we have Garrus, a Turian who's just losing, you know his grip on reality slowly. Jack, someone who's killed who knows how many people, and... All right. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think... Ah. We'll be here if you need me. Um... Who else should we... Well, Kelly, let me know. Nothing. All right. Commander, I get, you nope. received a new message at your private terminal. Nope, not good enough. Who wants to talk with me? I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? I miss her. We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. Do you have strong feelings for her? Yes. Ashley's an incredible woman. I didn't like saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. <laughs> no, it's easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Jack would like to see Jack. you down in her okay. hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Might as well unlock that while we're here. Oh, I never introduced myself to the engineer people. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Do you, are you guys like, no, you, you, know, you look pretty much the same. Yeah. And Tally, you look the same too, right? You're, you're still... Yeah, just Tally. Again, it was probably too hard. Which probably also why Grunt's head isn't an option. I'm assuming it's not. Oh, I could have go... Yeah, I could have talked to Jack. Let's go down there Oh, it'd be funny if he had Grunt's head on Legion's body. Since Legion kind of has, like, the thinnest, like, yeah, you know, he's a robot. So he has, like, no muscle, and he has, like, the thinnest frame. And then you put Grunt's big head on it. Tight little group you got here. And a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'm listening. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Oh. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. 
Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. Oh, we'll be going. But we have several Ashleys to help with loyalty missions. Let's go get things tomorrow. Commander, there's a message waiting at your private terminal. Yeah, it's yeah. from Admiral Anderson. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Ilium. There's that cursor again. Yeah, we're doing pretty. I mean, look at this. We already we already have most of our team. We already did Horizon. We've only been playing this for six, six hours, and I spent like a, an hour of that trying to fix stuff. And I haven't. I mean, I haven't been doing all the dialogue options, but I haven't been skipping dialogue either. Uh, who should I bring? Who should I bring? Who hasn't? Uh, well, everyone has, I guess, a little bit. We'll bring Tally, even though she is. Just tally. Uh, I guess I have to bring in Ashley. That's required. Miranda. Yep, just tally. Uh, mechanic. All right, then we have Merely. Um, I like Warp. I like both of these. In fact, I don't like Slam, so I'm willing to just put all our points into these. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Just don't sign anything. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading Ooh. floor. You Dance battle to going on. With her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, yep, the more dancing. Negotiate as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at a... No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the... 25. Cell at 20... Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? No. You had, you're mistaking me for someone else. Not to commend your shepherd. All no NPC names. I guess they've already have. been used. A lot of them were used of with course. the Jack mission. With um, while we're here, we'll go talk to Liara. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. 
It's very good to see you. Commander Shepley. Mm. Mm. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay. Which one do we do first? It doesn't matter, I'm doing both before I'm done tonight, so... Uh, I always get a little mixed up on Ilium. This goes to the Eternity Bar. Since I didn't, um, put a character in through Mass Effect 1, I don't think Conrad's there. I'm pretty sure Conrad's dead. <laughs> There's that person. Oh, hey, a posing. <laughs> More a posing. Dancing on the job. Serena? Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Just tell me what you know about it. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Just tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. I'll find him. Not without some help. You don't just walk into the Dantius Towers, especially now. But you've got a way in. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Well, unfortunately for the workers, they're not going most of them aren't going to make it out. Oh. Who do I bring? Hmm. Could do random. Here I'm going to close my eyes. And stop. Jacob, we have uh Garrett uh, Jacobs, whatever his name was. And, uh, stop. Nobody. All right. <sighs> Jacob. Jacob again. Jack. So one of the Ashleys, you know, that was a good chance of that. No. <laughs> no neck. Jackris. Oh, uh, veteran. 
along with more pull. And that too. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. By the way, that part of the music that just played, that piano, da, 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 it reminds, it really reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we'll see. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Does that mean that that does that mean that Asari is going to be one of the ones that run at us? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yep. Oh no, she's one of the ones. Oh, uh, oh no, Salarians. Why? Ah, oh, what is happening? Uh, what? <laughs> One of the Loki mechs was a Fenris mech. He's alive. I can't feel my legs. Thank you, Jacob. My chest is killing me. Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Someone's here to kill Nasana. I need to find him. I haven't seen anyone. But that explains. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's hurt pretty bad. He needs some help. I can't breathe. Please. Here. That should ease the pain. I had to hit that twice. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Yeah. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. The Reapers are here. Blue! Welcome to the Mass Effect 2 randomizer, where everyone's Ashley, apparently. I have four teammates with Ashley's head. How was your stream? Oh, I see the shout out thing works, finally. It was broken for a while. At least it's one thing that isn't broken. So, uh, what, what, teammates, come on. So we have Jack. We have Jack, who's also Ashley. And then we have uh, Jacob, who is no neck Garrus. Hello, N7 stuff. Raven, Commander Shepard. All right, well, Jack is dead. Well, Jack Lee. He actually updates their names. Oh, oh there's me, by the way. Uh, and Commander Shepard, welcome aboard. Hey, moms. Oh, and, and seven stuff. Thank you for the follow. Uh, this is my character, Rando Shepard. As you can see, we have Jackris and Jaylee. Also, who else is, uh, Grunt has Ashley's head somehow. Uh, Kasumi has Ashley's head. And Miranda has Ashley's head. Oh, Garrus has the elusive man's head. <laughs> That's a weird one. 
Also, my teammates have different uh, speed. So that's why uh, Jacob's not being much of a help here, because he's super slow. There he is. He's coming. I'm taking fire. He'll get here someday. I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Uh, Sandsterbot. Thank you for the follow. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a thing where some random NPCs have people's names. And during the during the scene where... Uh, first off, I have a thing where it flips people in cutscenes. So there was a prisoner beating up a guard in the cell while another guard was watching. And the, per the person beating on them was blue. And then Jay was the one who was on the ground. <laughs> I let it continue. Oh, thank you. Yay. Three years of streaming. I also had plenty of technical difficulties today, which, yeah, kind of fitting for an anniversary stream, I guess. I had to remod this game twice. Because things were just breaking. That's gonna blow up. Yep. Huh. Oh, that's what you meant. I was trying to figure out what you meant by that. You were listening to both. That makes sense now. I've tried that a few times, but I just, I don't know if I have the attention span to try to listen to two at the same time. I'll have a bunch up, but. There's also a mode on this that's for a specific person. Like the name of it is like the like their username. So that was made for somebody in mind. I have no idea what that mode does either. Unit member offline. Ah. All right. Good night, Raven. Excuse me. Critical stop now. Force is having to. Excuse me. Yeah, supposedly, supposedly lurking with the Twitch muted, like the actual like Twitch audio control muted doesn't count. I've also been told it does. I, who knows? Um, I use Firefox to watch Twitch and Firefox is cool because they have a, a built in ability to mute the tab, not the actual Twitch player. And when you mute the tab, it still counts because the Twitch player is not muted. So Twitch has no way to know it's muted. So when I'm cycling through streams one at a time, because I haven't tried to watch more than one, it just like explodes my brain. That way it still counts. I can take you all. Well, hey, if they make if, if they make one for three, I mean, I've already played one and two. Ooh, good shockwave. I probably should have been an infiltrator so I could have a sniper rifle. And if anyone wondering, this is old Mass Effect 2. The randomizers do not work on Legendary Edition. I'm also using a controller mod, which I had to install after I made my character. 
the controller mod affects how the keyboard and mouse works in the game. The only time you'll ever see the cursor is on the map screen. But you won't see it anywhere else. Like, I can't do anything with the keyboard and mouse right now. But on the, on the screen, on the map screen, you can actually see the cursor. So when I went to name my character, I couldn't do anything. So I actually had to make my character get far enough to save the game, get out of the game, install the mod, then, you know, power up the game again. Which I had to do again because I had to remod the game. I tried a couple settings that broke the game. There was one that messes with the, uh, it randomizes the stuff on the map. But I was unfortunate that it put the, it put the, the relay that's in the Omega system too far away. So I couldn't get to it without exiting the system. So I was stuck. I was forever stuck in that system. I also had the uwu uh, thing on, where all the text has like uwus and owos and emoticons, and but it got kind of old fast, so I, was, I turned it off as well. It was it's it, it was funny, but let's give my brain a rest. I'm gonna pick up the viper, so I have it when I unlock sniper rifle in the collector ship. I love the Viper, especially on easier difficulties. It has so much ammo. It's like two shots. They're dead on, on casual, which is what I'm playing on. I'm only pl I'm playing this for like the visual part of it. I have a insane playthrough plan later, maybe. Where I'm going to use all the settings that make the game harder. Enemies have random weapons. Enemies have random abilities. Uh, Shepard has like a ragdoll effect on like a ton of stuff. Friendly fire is on. Uh, the suicide mission at the end is randomized, which makes it harder, apparently. Yeah. That, that's what I'm, I'm waiting to do that for that playthrough. Uh, you guys stay here. If, gotcha. Yeah, yeah you're cover. here. Okay. You can make it, you can make it, Jacob. I mean, Jacris. You can do it. We're almost there. Come on. There you go. Just stand here and wait for them. I like a straight fight, but oh, I fully expect to run into something something dumb early on. That's gonna be, that's gonna be my Mass Effect Dark Souls run. Just like you know, I just die constantly. Trouble incoming! Yeah, surprising. Cold didn't work on the Krogan. I think he had a speck of armor left. I love you, Carnifex. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Well, you can guess what's happening to this guy. Turn around, very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, Kyle, The Reapers are here. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. Utter! I've got nothing more to say to you. If you should... Save a line. How about goodbye? Yeah. Welcome, Otter. Uh, and Raiders, I'm playing a randomizer of uh, Mass Effect 2. As you can see, I have uh, a pretty normal face. Pretty normal face. And then my teammates are also kind of a mix of two people. So I have Jackris, who is uh, Jacob Garris. And we have Jaylee, who is Jack and Ashley. <laughs> Don't do the one chip challenge. Yeah, I'm not. I don't handle spicy very well. So. Yeah. 
Although if that one goal is met for the month, I'll be doing a dra uh, a Dark Souls 2 bean run. Every time I die, I have to eat a Binboozled bean. And every time I die like five or ten times, I have to eat one of the spicy ones. Yeah. Hello, Miniature Wendigo and Jammy. Hey to bed. Hmm. I, you know, the bean boozled, the bean boozled stuff isn't, it depends on what you get, right? What do you mean? We've got reports of him I vetoed blows. vomit. And we by the way, that rule is still in effect. That rule is still in effect. I veto vomit. I will not eat that. Come on. Um, us to the dogs next. I used to have really bad issues with acid reflux at night. And so the vomit being just reminds me of that. <laughs> So, it's like, I'm not eating that. All right, team. What the? The cool thing is, um, if they ever, if they ever do make a Mass Effect 3 version of this mod, you can play all three. You can do an entire randomized playthrough. Yay. I actually have a, I've actually been wanting to do that, but not this kind of randomizer. I've had the idea of doing a mass, a mass effect series run where everything is randomized. Like all the choices, uh, like when I have a dialogue option, when I have like three dialogue options, I do like a D three and just kind of like to make a world. that's just like a random chaos, just a random chaotic mess. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond. Uh -huh. This interaction was from the trailer for Mass Effect 2. I remember it, like, you know, a hundred years ago. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. Oh yeah, the Loki mechs. Wait, these Loki mechs seem to be a little slow. The ones in the beginning were fast. Well, So, who thinks who wants to who wants to try to guess who Thane is? Everyone has a different head besides Tally. Only because Tally would be annoying to try to do because she has like the whole like hood and helmet thing. She's just Tally. Sometimes you'll see her like her neck kind of freak out from the from the randomization, but that's it. Who's Thane gonna be? What head is th it? Better not be Ashley. <laughs> I have four Ashleys already, and the Ashley on Horizon was still Ashley. We've had five Ashleys. What is that from? Oh, isn't that from uh, Recess? The cart, the Disney cartoon Recess, where there was like the group of Ashleys with like four of them. Look at that. Man, I haven't talked. I haven't mentioned Recess in a long time. I haven't thought about Recess in a long time. I never had the Disney Channel growing up, but Recess came on another channel. Even though I'm pretty sure it was Disney. Maybe it wasn't. Watch what. All right. Die. Yeet. Get in the corner. Recess was after your time, you're old. Uh, well, well, I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I, I feel like I watched cartoons a little later than I probably should, but I like a bunch of, you know, I, I probably watched Recess when I was like 13 or 14 after school. What else am I going to do? Do homework? And I think the only thing on after school is either like crappy grown up shows or cartoons. What, am I, what else am I going to watch? I'll take it. 
I mean, I mostly grew up on Nicktoons. Yeah, I barely I never had access to Cartoon Network, so I never got to watch that. And I didn't have access to Disney. So it was mostly Nicktoons and Saturday morning Fox stuff like Power Rangers and X-Men and Spider-Man. And the few Turtles VHS tapes I had. It's actually one of my list of things I want to do in my life. I have the entire 80s Turtle series on DVD. I want to watch it. I can't explain why. It's like I, when you're a kid, you think there's like a million episodes of a cartoon, but there's actually like a hundred, if that, right? And as a kid without streaming services, you, I, I haven't seen a lot of them. I want to see what I missed. Julie. Rocco also had a bunch of adult stuff that, as a kid, I didn't get. Alright, Carnifex time. Why was I made- why did I make myself a Vanguard? I'm hardly ever doing any Vanguard stuff. Huh. See, I only rented, I owned the first season on, D, on on VHS when I was a kid, but there was only like eight episodes in season one. I had a couple, I had like one or two for season two, and I rented a bunch from seasons three and four. But I never saw all of them. I've probably seen maybe like a, a third of the episodes of Turtles, maybe more, because the later seasons only have like 10 episodes. Also, I was told the later seasons aren't that good, but I'll see for myself. Well, Julie, we should watch them. <laughs> we don't live that far apart. I'll just drive like two hours and then we can watch some turtles. It's worth it for turtles. And we can swap some old games. I'll, you can borrow my copy of uh, a Fire Emblem on the GameCube. <laughs> Oh man, these things are so annoying to fight with this thing. Ugh. Die. I have no good long range options beside the Carnifex. And I'm out of bullets. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to unlock the sniper rifle. Where are my teammates? Why are you guys so slow? Well, I know why they're slow. Randomizer. Good death noise. All right, get in there. I can take you all. You first. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see who Thane is. I'm going to guess. Wait. Man, it better not be Ashley. I'm going to guess Caden. I would love if it's Caden. I'm not an assassin, Miss Sana, but I am looking for one. You break in here and decimate my security just to find the person who's here to kill me? What are you playing at, Shepard? What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When uh -oh. I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and Wait I a minute. are going to... Who? Hold on now. Once we get to the conversation, we'll be able to see. Right now, it just randomized one of her Asari people in his place.
Is Thane also Garrus? That was quite the entrance. Oh no, no, that's oh no, we swap, we swip, we swip, we swapped, swip swapped. Oh no, he is Garrus. Hey, Thane is also Garrus. That's a cool combination. What's his name? Uh, uh. Well, hold on. It's gonna be R U S on the end of it, probably. Thaneris. Thaneris. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Theris. His name is Theris. Be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me. Uh, the good camera angle. Individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. What Take the? You, for instance. What are you? A what foot tall? What is happening? Chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Oh, well, I see what happened. Am. The they flipped during the cut. They flipped during like the cutscene somehow. So he was the dead body. <laughs> I think. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. Ah. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about. By going to a place no one's ever returned from? That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Okay. Welcome to the team. Garrus number two. <laughs> I'll take a team of Garrus. Hopefully he's not super slow like Jacob is. What the? Now he's Jacob. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. What happened? Now he's Jacob. Is he going to be Jacob permanently now? We already had Jacob Morden. Uh. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. Also, a human's head is pretty similar to a to a drill, so it actually animates fairly normally. He seems quite oh. civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Oh, shut up, Jackers. All right. Um, we're going to go talk with Morden. This is the wrong place. Morden's the one person I'm talking to in this playthrough, so I can unlock the singing. Just so I can see what it looks like with a different head. This one's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. I can you tell. Our talk? 
My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pact. Talk to them or Clan Chief. That's not even the worst one. Uh, I'll, here, I'll show you the worst one. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. The worst one is one of the Ashleys. Yep. Yeah. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. This should come in handy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst one. Blue, thank you for the bits. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the worst one. Commander, there's a message waiting at your I know. terminal. Stop telling me. It's from Admiral Anderson. All right, let's get our last character. And there's the cursor. So you can see the cursor on this screen, but no 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 other screen in the game. Weird. All right, who's Samara going to be? We have two Jacob. We have two Jacob heads and we have four Ashley heads. Hmm. Man, Samara better not be Ashley. <laughs> Anybody but Ashley. Give me Miranda or something. I don't know. Or Jack. Just something. Who should we take? Uh, let's take uh, Thane, uh, Thane Jacob. Uh, I already forget the name. And... Oh! My personal favorite on the team. My personal favorite. How it worked out. Say hello to Zayden. I like this one. And then Thacob. A uh, veteran. Again, it's basically it's basically just buff buff Morden, and I like it. Yeah, buff Morden. <laughs> All right, let's get us Samara. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried Exeter. New Exoderm moisturizer. Ah. Job? Yeah, NPCs also have random animations in this. Are you Commander Shepard? Nope, still not. Everyone's dancing, having fun. They'll also A pose randomly because it breaks the game a little bit. But is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological Listen, I know the data is all right. Yep, like that. <laughs> Asana Dante has been given a time to pack. We'll hear from survey teams talking about 
Bianca. <laughs> it's like he's doing like an interpretive dance. Well, now he's, yeah, now he's using an invisible pole. Okay. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. Hmm. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, they're over here. Max will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in because it's a crime scene. Oh yeah, because um because I didn't um import a Mass Effect one save. This is just some random colonist. They're not in a sorry. Explain a damn contract. Uh, a posing. Hmm. Well then. Officer Dara. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? You trying to charm your way into every sports 30 plus sports bar. I, I'll be honest, I've never been to a sports bar. I've I honestly have only been to one bar in my life. And I was dragged there. I didn't want to go. <laughs> And I had one drink, and that was it. Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Jessica I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. I used to pay attention to NFL stuff, but I kind of stopped. I'll watch highlights at this point, but that's it. I really don't want I don't watch the games anymore. I'm in a fantasy league because it's basically just like football for nerds because it's all about stats, which I kind of like. But um, uh, yeah, my phone was busted when the email was sent out for the date set for our fantasy draft. And I, yeah, uh, mine auto-drafted, and my team is awful. I'm 0-2 right now. Like, my team is awful. So I'm probably going to lose horribly this year. I don't care. I was tempted to quit anyway, because I don't pay attention. Uh Oh, well, uh, well we're definitely bringing uh, the same two here. I'm going to get them going here. But yeah, at this point, I also... Doing fantasy kind of ruined my ability to even watch football because every time I watch a game, I would like hope that things would happen. Oh, I have him on my team. I hope he does good. It kind of ruined it. Oh, so, but yeah, I watched the highlights. That's about it. Like I'll I'll take the time to watch five minute highlights that condenses a ninety minute or going? like a three hour game. I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Ooh, good clip. Also, there are 30 plus bars. I didn't even know that was a thing. I figured as long as you're 21, it's like whatever, but okay. I can get into one of those. <laughs> Well, Julie, it shows how much we go out. All right. Uh oh. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. 
If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Chestakars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Then she'll fit in just fine. If you're getting her oh, that's such district, a cool I'll voice for Morden. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. Her just a car code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Oh, I never go out. I've never gone out. You know how many times I've been to a club? Once. I was in high school. And this is one of those weird conflicts of interest thing. There was a club that people could go into if they were under drinking age. You just couldn't drink. Which I just think is kind of dumb, because how do you... I feel like that'd be kind of hard to prevent over time. But yeah, once. And it was just boring to me. Like, alright. Cool. Cool colors and and lights and like a fog machine. It was like, this is boring. I hate this. I'd rather play video games right now. I'm at a club thinking about playing video games. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. <laughs> okay. Good Let's find this Samara before the detective does. That's, I haven't done a lot socially. I went to one club when I was like 17. Uh, again, it was like a real club. It was just like you could go in underage. You just had to have like a stamp on your hand that shows you're underage. Like, I just think that's weird. That's just a weird idea to me. Um... I've been to I've been to not counting the concerts I went to as a kid that were dumb. I went I've gone to one concert. It's, I haven't done a lot. I haven't done that much. Anaya told us to let you through. Again, the, the the parties I went to in high school were full of pizza and soda and video games and movies. It was that's what it was. Okay, good night. Thank you for the follow. Uh, joining us from uh, with uh, with Blues Raid. Also, after that concert, I was deaf for like two days. I mean, my hearing sucks anyway, but like even after that, I was like I could not hear that well for like two days. All right, I think it's time to use a heavy weapon, finally. Oh, I have this thing. Oh. Wait, can I leave and come back? Can I? Can I leave? I can. Can I change my weapon somewhere? Hmm. Is there a weapon thing in here? <laughs> Just a random person dancing over there. Oh yeah, I didn't drink till I was 21, which is basically no one I know waited that long. I went to high school in a town that had a college, so it was just like, it was, you know, oh, there it is. I see it. Good night. Uh, oh yeah. I have only, I have only been, I have only drank alcohol three times ever once was why i was dragged to a bar when i turned 21 i had one drink uh then when my friend turned 21 two months after me we drank some stuff it was enough for a buzz that's it i've never been drunk we drank enough for like a buzz that was it and then the third time i had a bunch of like i, I worked at a liquor store and i bought a bunch of miniatures to try all the time but i would dig i would take like a little sip to see what it tastes like and then i would just throw it in the freezer when I moved from there, I had like 200 miniatures that were already open. I threw them all away. But there was one day I had a friend come over and we drank a cup. We drank like some of them. 
Again, buzzed, not drunk. I just don't enjoy it. I don't like that feeling. First off, I get acid reflux very easily. So drinking and stuff like that, it's just like instant reflux. I just don't like it. Yes, it did. When I threw them out, I had a garbage bag full of miniatures. <laughs> but they were all mostly full, so I was like, alright. Alright, let's have some fun. The Reapers are here. Reapers! Good timing, J Bay. Black hole gun! <laughs> Yeah, JB. How was uh How was Elder Scrolls Arena? I am playing Mass Effect Two with a visual randomizer. It's a little wonky, as you can see from my face. Yep. Like I said, the parties I went to in high school were nothing but pizza, soda, and video games, and just we played DDR. Yeah, my parties consisted of DDR. I went to those kind of parties. You know, the good ones. But yeah. Thank you for the raid. Um, again, I'm playing with a randomizer. As you can see, I'm Rando Shepard. I also have Thacob, which is Thane with Jacob's head. And I also have Zayden, which is uh, Zaid with Morton's head. So, yeah. Uh oh. All right, Samara. Even if we see what what head Samara has, it'll change when she get when she joins our team, like it did with Thane. Tell oh, it's me. <laughs> Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer. Lieutenant. I am now you Samara. Can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. This is so dumb. <laughs> Shepard, what are you doing? What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Embrace eternity. My name is Samara. A servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friends <gasps> or foe? It's Caden. Samden! <laughs> it's Caden! I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. Oh, this is great. I was hoping it'd be Caden. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My no, the team that did uh, Mass Effect Andromeda worked on this. After that, I must return Ooh, got to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse Mercs are preparing to kill him. Ah! <laughs> Get the tooth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Oh no, this is a this is a mod. <laughs> this is a mod. This is a randomizer mod. Everything's messed up. The point of this playthrough is just to have fun. I you know I should have been saying this, you know during the other raids that happened today, but this is my anniversary week. It was supposed to be last week, but I was sick with COVID for about a month, three weeks to a month. And I wanted to have at least two weeks of streaming to get used to it again before uh, anniversary week. 
I am doing a Mass Effect 2 randomizer today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. I'm playing uh, some Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection on Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm doing a 12-hour Blitzball stream in Final Fantasy X. It was a community goal. Apparently, people want it, so I'm doing it. I am going to lose my mind when I do that. Forget what I was doing. Uh, we're going over here. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. I have to go. I don't care where you're going. Just do something to get Samara to leave. Okay. I think I need to talk to, uh, to Mr. Volus, man. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello, Earth Clan. If you're interested in weapons, I have a fine selection. Unfortunately, I am not open for business right now. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merc. Oh dear. Please put that away. Okay. I'll be Good night, JB. I swear. Uh, thank Tell you for the everything. raid. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. That's it good. Also is toxic. That's bad. <laughs> but you get your choice I of topic. I have um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. I need to get into the Merc base. You're going to help me. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Ah, important information for when you meet someone else. Well... Let's go take care of this. Avalkyra reveals the yeah! All right, team, we got Buff Morden and what were your names again? I already forgot. Jacob and Zayden. I'm never going to remember that. Right. I'll tear you apart. <laughs> Shepard, my scans confirm that the chemical compound will boost biotics. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend limited exposure. Good idea. I'll tear you apart. <laughs> oh, good. No, you must not clip this. <laughs> Why did I just hear the... That was weird. I heard the sound effect for, um... Renegade, I think. Goddess. Oh, Goddess, don't let them see me. If they do see me, don't it's very similar. Don't do it. Oh. 
Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. That's an Eclipse uniform, isn't it? Turn and face the wall. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. Good job. This should come in handy. Uh, yeah, Carnifex. Oh, we're actually getting close to one of my favorite NPCs in the game, too. We've been spotted. <clears throat> Oh, Julie, the um, the goal was meant at 20. The goal was meant for an Overwatch stream. <laughs> Would you like to join me during that? <laughs> Carry me, please. Um, Overwatch is back is uh, cross platform, right? Between PC and Xbox. I'm pretty sure it still is. I would rather play on Xbox just because I'm going to use a controller regardless. And on Xbox, I have all the skins and stuff unlocked. Well, I did when I stopped playing. So we can see some of the fun skins I have unlocked. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing comp. <laughs> that wasn't part of the That wasn't part of the goal. Ugh. Overwatch comp. <laughs> yeah, I know the servers are stopping soon. Was it like sometime next month? Okay. Yeah, since the goal was met, we'll have to do that. I want the Saturday streams to all be Pokemon because I need to like have time in it, but I might set one aside for Overwatch. Like maybe like next Saturday. Is next Saturday still in, uh, it's still, it's, well, today's the 20th. Would next Saturday be too late? It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Weakening their integrity. I mean, it can't be this Saturday, because I have... Well... Power. It's close. Oh, it's okay. What is it, like October 1st? Yep. All right. I guess maybe October 1st there'll be an Overwatch stream. Instead of Pokemon. I might do half and half because eight hours of Overwatch is a bit much. I might do like a half and half or at least like not the whole thing. Maybe I'll do like five or six hours Overwatch and then we'll do a little Pokemon. Oh, this thing is so bad at range. Can't target them. Like the Minecraft one that I unlocked at 15 subs is fine. Eight hours of Minecraft is fine. That seven, eight hours of Minecraft is perfect. Just relax and build stuff and collect things. Kaboom! Just face plant. How many people as a kid did that? Just face plant into the ground. Destabilizing their body. I wasn't a very active kid. I didn't play any sports or stuff. I still had my moments of stupidity <laughs> or stuff like that happened. Enemies ahead. <clears throat> ah. Well, Julie, who should I play as? I'll probably try to play as everybody once, just, just for fun. But, uh, I mean, I used to be a Hanzo main. I stopped playing Hanzo a while ago because I was just terrible at it. 
but uh, I still I still played him every now and then for fun. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I played him when he was a little more broken, in a sense of, like, he had his arrows had a big hitbox, which was nice. I never used Scatter Arrow that much, and Scatter Arrow was pretty broken. I didn't use Hanzo for Scatter Shot. Some people did, I didn't. Of course, like, the one good thing he had that I could have, that even someone with my skill level could have used to kill people, I never used it. I mean, Storm Arrow, Storm Arrow is still pretty good. And I love saving my ultimate for when uh, Zarya had one. That was fun. Actually, Zarya was probably the tank I played the most. Although I'm really bad at consistently, at consistent weapons, like a laser that you just keep having to fire and then, like, hold on the enemy as they move. I'm kind of bad at those kind of, uh, weapons. Online. I like Zarya's bubble, though. That was fun. Please reconsider your aggressive attitude. Like, using it properly to get, like, immediate, like, 80 charge from something. <laughs> like, if I ever saw a Hanzo, uh, get, uh, dragon go by, I would bubble and just kind of, like, poke into it for a bit. <laughs> But yes, feed me. Unfortunately, the bubble wouldn't last long enough to get like to like save people during certain things. Uh, Demon Nuke. I guess if you timed it right, you could probably save somebody and yourself, maybe. <clears throat> What's the newest character? How many characters am I am I behind? Uh, Echo was the last main was the last new character I got to play. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> kind of assumed there'd be another one. Yeah, one falls. Yeah, that makes sense. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney Four sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3. What in clips, the? Along with 600 units of red. What sand. was that? This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. No, no, Detective and I would want to see this. We've got to keep moving. What is that? Uh. I have no idea what that's from. I don't know what that is. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oh, there he is. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with me. Everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. 
I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, you want me to kneecap this guy so he doesn't follow us around? I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! Uh, I always feel bad when I do this. I always feel bad when I do the Renegade option here. Unless I'm playing as Brock Shepard, I mean, it's funny. All have gone to Kalahira. No, Biotic God. <laughs> And it's me. I'm the evil one. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Heads up. <laughs> Yeah, I miss Brock Shepard. We'll have to revisit uh, his character someday. Oh, toxic warning. <laughs> Be the ship that Asari was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. All right, we got the name of the ship. We can leave with a Samara now. Whatever, whatever their name is. Samden. Samden. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to him. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Yeah, when I was playing as Brock Shepard, this was insane that she did that. Like, he had to have known, right? Even just meeting me for like five minutes. Why would she ever do that kind of like do that kind of thing with Brock Shepard? You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? Let's go. All right. Welcome to the team, Samden. Sam Dan, because it's Caden. Well, Caden, Sam, Dan, yeah.
Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Can you imagine someone popping into this stream and not knowing anything about Mass Effect and just seeing this? Like, just seeing that scene and it's out of context. Uh, Warden, you probably have your mission up now. Still need to get to Tuchanka, Shepard. My students oh, yeah, you already have you later, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. I guess, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but you know I'm using a randomizer, I guess. I mean, if someone popped in and didn't know even that fact. Like, what is happening with this game? Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. Ah. I have concerns with her temper, though. Don't worry. Jack's a big girl. She'll be just fine. I hope you're right. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious. Grunt, Pacing okay. down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? I'll be here if you need anything. We can unlock Commander, Grunt's loyalty mission. message at your private terminal. Oh, everyone loves Grunt, right? He's not nightmare fuel at all. Let's go talk to Grunt. Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. Yeah, I can see I that. You wrong, Tenth. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shift. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this... this noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Chanka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Yeah. He's a Krogan. He likes being angry and fighting, but he wants it to be his choice. And now he can't control it. So, bad. I do like how my Brock Shepard character, I purposely did not do Grunt's loyalty mission. Just so in three, I, just so in the, he's like basically planning for the future. Having a Krogan that respects him and listens to him, but is just like a, a big mindless beast because he can't control his anger. And then he died in three, but still. I was checking to see if there's any like randomized stuff in here. I don't I don't see anything different. Yeah, everything's the same. So, uh we 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 got everyone on the team. Uh tomorrow we will be doing all of the loyalty missions. And then moving on with the story. And if we ended up we end up getting to the point of the, like the end of the story besides the, the last mission, we might start the DLC. And then Wednesday, we would just do the rest of the DLC and then finish the game.